Hello. Yay. Hello. Yay. It's, We're back. It's in the back. What up, everyone? What up? <laughs> what up? We're here. What's Jeez. up, everyone? Welcome back to Three Men and a Monkey Lizard. We are here on our alternating uh, Saturday time slot at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, and 11 p.m. UK. So tonight right. we have a... Tonight, we have uh, a full panel and a very special guest. So starting in the upper left-hand corner, you don't roast him. You love him. Salacious rum. Yay. I like that. I like that. Don't roast me. Love me. Very good. Very <laughs> you good. love him. Very good. Very good. Right. Good evening, everyone. Right. I'm excited for this one. We're coming in hot. <clears throat> Always. All right, and right above me, Brady Bunch style, I'll look up, say hello, is our friend here, the uh, the proprietor of Oakhurst Studios, <laughs> Vern. Hey, everybody. I thought that was pretty funny because, like, I know you got that grill, so I thought there were going to be some spit roasting jokes all week, but I knew you were going to uh, complain about that. Steady on, steady on. You know, you know I, I feel like um, I don't want, I don't want to, like, that's just mean, and, and we don't need to hurt his feelings. <laughs> That's we don't true. need to hurt his feelings. Thank you. There's plenty That's of true. other things to grill than our monkey lizard friend. Don't that worry, is so. true. Damn right, damn right. All sure, right, sure. and then uh, Sean Solo, our uh, our other member, will be uh, apparently coming in hot at any moment. But uh, to my left is our very special guest tonight, Josh, or Cap 10, the... Uh, the number 10 America. And, uh, he's a really good buddy of ours on Twitter has always been uh, active here on the stream. And uh, tonight we wanted to have him on to hang out with him. And then, uh, selfishly, I wanted to get a full tour of the cap cave. I'm sure everyone else. Does. <laughs> yeah, well, welcome, Josh. Welcome, welcome Josh. Josh. Hello everyone. Woo. Nice to be here. What up? What up? What All up? Right. What up? And then, uh, and I'm the dude, or I'm I'm a dude. I'm not the dude. Uh, Jeff Bridges is the dude. I'm a dude, well, the and dude uh, we're El Duderino if you're not into uh, the whole brevity thing. So uh, tonight I'm driving, so you'll see my hand up here uh, uh, spinning some DJ uh, magic uh, on the thing. So let's say hello to everybody. So tonight the, uh, the number one uh, spot goes to first dude in the chat. Welcome, Gary Moore. What's up, buddy? What's, hey, up? What's up, Mr. Gary? What's up, Mr. Gary? What's up, Gary? Josh Anderson's here. We got two Joshes. Hey, Josh. Mr. Josh. Mr. Josh. Mr. Josh is the uh, the Josh that everybody always talks to in chat. I'm just the one who makes random <laughs> comments that nobody appreciates. No, no, <laughs> no, no, that's not true. We like oh all Joshes. God. You're special to us as well, Josh. Mr. Josh. We got G uh, we got G Force G Racing Twenty. He's G Unit. G Unit. Oh, sorry. I got my contacts. And my vision's terrible, so it's uh, right. I'm playing horseshoes when I'm when I'm seeing here. And then Jeez. our our friend Cat Vader's girl, welcome. Thanks hey, for hanging hey, out. Hey, Cat. Thanks for coming. Hey, oh, got your coffee. Got your coffee. That's right. I got I got <laughs> some uh, I got some chai tea. No coffee. <laughs> chai tea. Chai tea for me. Yeah, it's it's Cat. It's Cat that likes coffee. It's Cat that likes coffee. Well, I got a water bottle. I'm not going to oh. tell you what's in there. Uh oh, <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, we're trying to keep this PG thirteen, Vern. That's why it's in a water bottle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then I have absolutely nothing Disney, to drink. Disney Channel rules. Uh oh. We got Red Ranger Chris. What's up, buddy? Hey, Chris. Did, no, did no one hey, tell Chris. Josh? Is, did no one tell Josh he needs to bring drinks? We we, we all have our we all have our drinks. We oh, I forgot yeah, to talk again. <laughs> We all have you got to bring, uh, uh, gotta bring Jobu his rum, otherwise the toy <laughs> gods will be offended, man. Oh, he has got it. He has got it. There he is. Now he's in. What up? Adult. What Adult. up, OT? Welcome. Hey, OT. Very, very good. Rosaf. 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 Well, I actually like that thumbnail, yeah. too. That's nice. That's pretty cool. We got a pretty yeah. active chat. So, let's see. Make sure I acknowledge everyone. Oh. Our buddy, what's up, Mr. Shabby? Mr. Shabby, dancing away, giving his grooves. Mr. Lova Lova. So I, oh, Mr. I Smuggler's here as well. Mr. Smuggler. Smuggler's is here. What's up, friend? Hi, hey, Christian. Christian. All right. So now that we got our, we're all introduced. Sean will, Sean will be here soon. Why don't we start off? And reintroduce our friend here. Let me get the right thing. Uh, Captain America, who's at Josh Wallen on Twitter. 
So again, Josh is our, our good buddy from Twitter. He's very active in the toy community. He's very active on the stream. So, and uh, it, it's always cool to talk to somebody interact over Twitter, but tonight we all get to hang out for a couple hours together. So thanks for coming on, dude. Um, so that is his Twitter handle. F please follow him, man. Really good uh, uh, toy hunts, collecting, and then obviously lots of pictures of the Cap Cave. Um, so the, uh, why don't we start out with- Interject real yeah. quick. The, the Twitter handle is at Cap 10 America. Oh, dude, I did it wrong. All right, I'll correct that. I'll do it. So whoever has, whoever Josh, has at Josh Wallen is going to uh, <laughs> Josh, get a lot of followers. The, the dude oh, had yeah. one, he had one job to do. One job ah, to do. One job. One job. I can huh, get you ladies? a job. <laughs> we'll All get right. it right. We'll get it right. So oh. I'm trying to find. So one of the things we always like to ask when we have a guest on is. Um, uh, why did you start? When and why did you start collecting? Oh, probably like a lot of us, uh, I grew up on '80s nostalgia. Uh, Star Wars was mainlined into my system at a very early age. Uh, <laughs> I was born in '78, so my uh, nice. the rumor always had it that my parents may have conceived me uh, at A New Hope. I don't don't know <laughs> if that's accurate or not, but <laughs> I'll go with it. My my middle name is Harrison, so again, wow. uh oh. Um, Take it for what it's worth. Uh, yeah, aside from that, like I said, just growing up on all those great 80s toys, G.I. Joe, He-Man, uh, Silverhawks, Thundercats, oh, all, Silver all, the, all the greats, right? So right. fell off probably like a lot of other people did and got reintroduced to collecting back in the 90s with like the Power of the Force line. Uh, like everybody else, I've probably got two or three bins full of power of the force just laying around that we all were convinced was going to be the uh the, the, next Doge, the doja coin or whatever the heck it's called you know everybody was just going to robin hood and make up on their figures but unfortunately uh Oops. that didn't happen so we've got nice little uh a stash here that uh i've conceived over my entire 43 years of existence and it's it, I, the thing I appreciate most about my collection is the fact that it kind of just tells my story and I could probably pick just about anything in my collection and tell you all the details of it and, you know, where I was at when I picked it up and you know, who I was with. And more than anything, I think that's what's most important about, you know, collecting is, is what you make of it. They may just be plastic items, vinyl items, whatever they may be, but, you know, there's so much more than that at, at the core of, of what they are. So. Exactly, man. It, it's, it, there's a lot of times when you, when you get a figure and there's, there's a sensation or, or a dopamine hit or whatever you want to call it, just, you know what I mean? Beyond it, just looking cool or being a cool figure. Oh, um, sure. And, and I, I feel like the, the things that like, especially from, from youth that were attached to, um, when you get those figures, there is such a wave of nostalgia and it, it does feel good. To, I mean, that's a big part of the hobby, I think. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. I totally agree. Right, like when so uh, you talk about your figures and you can uh, talk about where you were when you got them, because I got so many in here that come with a story too. Yeah. yeah. That's the best part. Amen. Amen. Uh, so would you like coffee? We know that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so yeah, what yeah, I, actually, uh, I had yeah. actually not yet. I, I had a. Oh, I think uh, Salacious has a question. Oh, please. No, oh, no. I think it's just cats just ask it. Cats just asked the question. That was all. She said, "Can Rom say hello to the kiddo?" So I just oh, want to yeah. say, just want to say hello to. Ra oh, that's better. I can see my good looks now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just we welcomed Cat, but no, we need yeah. to we, we need to welcome the kiddo as well, Raphael. Little Raphael is watching, and mm -hmm. he's a good he's a good friend to the to the free men and the monkey lizards, and he likes his show. So, hope you're um, being well behaved, uh, Raphael, for your mummy. It's important to love your mummy. Um, but hello, Thank welcome, to the, welcome, welcome to the show, Raphael, and um, glad to hear that you tidied your room the other day. <laughs> Ooh, that's good news. We like that. Keep, Keep the room tidy. That's right. That's right. You got to keep that room tidy, man. That's super yeah. important. Keep yeah, it tidy. Right. Although Whoops. Pilly Pilly Yum Yum doesn't keep her room tidy. It's always a mess, <laughs> to be honest. Don't be I'm like an around yum here. <laughs> always. Dude, my my house with the puppy right now, my house looks like double dare. 
Like if I want to go from the den to the kitchen, it, I have to take the physical challenge. Like it, it's ridiculous. So yeah, uh, Bob's clean up like your that. room. Bob's like that. It leaves his underpants on the floor all the time. <laughs> I'm sure it's Bob's. But, I got a question for Josh now. Josh, uh, what's your uh, favorite line to collect? Oh, man. Uh, it's probably a toss-up between Black Series and Marvel Legends, in all honesty. I mean, there's there's I collect just about everything, uh, but those are the two that are most near and dear to my heart. If I had to pick one gun to my head, it's definitely Black Series. Ooh. How come? Ooh. Uh I got a Jedi tattoo on my arm. Just, you know, it's it's in my blood. It's Star Wars is where it was at for me. It was my first love. And uh, she may be fickle at times, but at the end of the day, she's still the first girl that you brought to the dance. And yeah, you she make is. Sure, you want to make sure you take her home at the end of the night. So who's, who's, your, who's your favorite character, Josh? Who's your favorite character? Uh, I would have to go with Chewbacca. Can't go uh, wrong there. Yeah, uh, I always kind of picture myself the dependable friend that everybody can always count on, and it's going to have your back through thick and thin, no matter what. So that was always something that kind of spoke to me. Growing up a fat kid in in Southeast Michigan, getting picked on a lot, you wish you had somebody like that to have your back. But it is what it is, and I'm happy where I'm at today instead of where I was back then. Oh, everyone loves Chewy. Everyone, every, everyone, everyone wants a Chewy, don't they? He's like dependable, Mister Dependable, and he's cuddly. <laughs> cuddly too. He's, he's, a, he's a good cuddler. Enjoys a good uh, enjoys a good barbecue from time to time. Yeah, and I'll be honest. Although <laughs> I'm not in favor of monkey lizard spit roasting, that pork looked pork pretty tasty. Looked delicious. Looked good. I mean, I don't know. I, I, we've said this before, but. Uh, the dude's a bit of a grill master, but I think uh, I think Chewie's got some special mar marinade in, in the in the Falcon. Uh, uh, if I could, I would buy Chewie's like marinade. That, that yeah. pork looked delicious. Yeah, it looked good. <laughs> you just good. you just hope that the marinade didn't. That it was made prior to Lando getting done with the Falcon because you don't know what's going on once he's had his turn with it. <laughs> it's a dirty. It's a dirty ship. Indeed, he he does not pick up his things. I don't think he picks up his thing. Like they said, she's not much. Well, his capes, are, his capes are on point, though. His capes are on point. Oh, so I have, uh, I have another party. question. Uh, I got a question uh, for Josh. Uh, Josh, what are uh, what are your Holy Grail figure? What's your Holy Grail figure or figures? Oh, man. Uh, in the WWE line, there's an old CM Punk figure that's the Straight Edge Society. If memory serves, uh, who was it? Was it Apprentice Ewok that was on the show last time? And he was... Uh, hyping up some some WWE figures. Uh, if I'm getting that up confused, I apologize. But yeah, there, he mentioned also the Straight Edge Society, CM Punk. That's up there for me. Uh, as far as Black Series is concerned, I think I've got just about everybody. Uh, I wouldn't mind having a Leia Bouche, in all honesty. They only put her out the one time, so ish, we're, getting about, yeah. we're getting about due for a uh, yeah. Return of the Jedi wave, and I'm certainly hopeful that she'll be included in that. With a much better face sculpt, I hope too. That would be yeah, nice. We need a photo rail. Yep. I think it's. Uh, I think it's. I think it's Mister Sleeping that's the CM Punk. Fan. Sleeping. Yes. Yeah, it's, yeah. he's his favorite. Yeah. Uh, Leia Bush is a good shout. Do you think we'll get archive or anniversary? Uh, it'll probably be. If I had to put money on it, I'd say it's going to be anniversary. I, I agree with that. I think yeah. so too. Yeah. I I think that'd make a cool retro card though. Oh yeah, it would be awesome. Like, especially because then I can have a Return of the Jedi wall and have Leia Bush on it. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't mind them doing like a nice big similar to what they did for Heroes of Endor, which I still have not received. Uh, I'd oh, love, can you imagine? I'd love to see like a nice uh, throne room. Mine's, with, mine's like, right there. Jabba on the altar, and you know, you could do <clears throat> maybe like an archive deluxe repackaging uh, would be, or something like that. Like it, like something like that Comic Con Job of the Hut that they did, but they expanded out a little bit. So there's yeah. a wall where if you had the the solo and carbonite, you could hang them there, and then yeah, you, know, you could put your gourmet in guard in it. That would be awesome. Yeah, love it. That'd Give me a really bit cool. Fortuna. Oh yeah, that's the and, one they need. Wanna wanna wanga. And 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 definitely wanna wanga. 
and and and, and uh, we need we need uh and, i don't know what else is in there what else could be yeah i don't know hmm. i think maybe like I mean, c3po with his eye out that would be really, really cool yeah I mean, c3po with his eye out oh, come maybe on. like How the r2 with a tray come on Come on, oh, I definitely want an R two with the tray and the drink. Would it be cool if it had uh, the light, like a lightsaber that like could pop oh, in and yeah, out? Yeah, that would be cool. Oh, yeah, the dancing girl. You need a yeah. dancing girl. Oh, yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's the dancing twilights. Yep. Yeah, maybe good. one that's of those good. things yeah. with the with the little um the things that Jabba was I want eating. A whole Max Rebo, that thing. Max yeah. Rebo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that would make, be cool. Make thing. this like a make this like a Hazlab three hundred and fifty dollars set and give yeah. me a corner with all of Max Rebo band and the instruments. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. God, I, I think that's it. I don't think there's anybody we, we left out. I don't Come know on, anything well, else. Every... Oh, oh, you need Luke. You can put in a Luke. Oh yeah, Luke. Uh, but we should just right? get that Luke. So I don't. I don't need another one. Who the... Every bloody um, man and his dog in the palace so far. Come on, who else? Who else? I, I'm, oh, the Rancor guy. Right. And yes, the Rancor, the Rancor oh, yeah. guy. Uh -huh. Yes. Get and how about a Rancor? I'll take a Rancor too. I'll totally take a Rancor. Every and Josh, then, every man and his dog so far in that bloody eye, palace. If C-3PO's eye could go in and out of the socket, like that would be really cool. Right? Out. But yeah. you would need some some way, some some reason why it got pulled out of the eye. I don't exactly. know. I think exactly. you could just go. I think you could just go with the C-3PO and you know. No, you, no, 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 no. You're getting there. You're getting there. Josh, help me himself. out here. How yeah. about these imbeciles? <laughs> I mean, I guess we God could sake. go with a random monkey lizard. We didn't necessarily need a. Uh, a salacious <laughs> bee, but we could we could go with anyone. You know what? They could just probably do a quick mold and throw something in there. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, they. I'm could. sure they've got it laying around. You see, I have to work with people. You see, I have to work with around here. Let me know. Welcome, uh, welcome to uh, a clink and super awesome uh, geek show. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, dude. Thank no, uh, no barbecuing clink. today. That uh, it took a little longer to assemble than expected. So we're uh, we're gonna fire it up uh, tomorrow. First cook will be chicken thighs. Chicken oh, thighs for the win. He's a, he's a one man grilling machine, that dude, I tell you. Uh, I'm a pretty excited man. about it. No one noticed on my Twitter post the name of my grill because it lets you name it. Oh, I you didn't guys see guess that. The well, name of, well, go guess on. the name of my grill. Guess it's the pretty dude simple. The dude's the. Nope, didn't see it. No, nope. I'm gonna have to. Twitter's, have Twitter's been down though, hasn't it? It keeps going up and keeps going off. I haven't looked at Twitter in a while. It's just called the dude smoker. That's all. The dude. Oh, it's a dude's nerdery. A dude smoker. Yeah, it's just oh. we, we keep it. <clears throat> we keep, we got where it's all branding. It's branding. Your your all smoker right. is bigger than Bob's house. <clears throat> I, I made some Teesprings t-shirts. Did you guys see that? And I was like, I wonder if anybody would want a, one of my pictures on a t-shirt. Nope. I'll take a Verge shirt. I want a shirt. I want a shirt. I'll buy one. I was Welcome bored. to Blue Harvest. Like... What's up, buddy? Hello, Blue. Hey, Mark. All right. Get saying hi. Let's see if anyone else showed up. We got, oh, only one Kenobi's here. What's up, friend? Hello, Hello there. Only, only one. I'm the only one. Only one. Ooh. Only one. All right. So, uh, Vern Salacious, do you guys have any Holy Grail toys? Because that was a good tangent we got off on. I love our tangents. It's the best part. I think we Doc talked Gilster. about this once, and I, and I went up to go grab a figure, and you said, no, the Holy Grail is something you don't have. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so, next week, I may have something to show you that's related to what I talked about my Holy Grail a couple weeks ago. So, I'm not going to say it. Uh, say that. Oh, I like the but, tease. Um, I like the tease. <clears throat> yeah. So, like, uh, I did pick something up. It's not the actual thing that I'm looking for, but it's super close. And um, it's something that I actually had when I was a kid, but I left it with my brother. And then now he can't seem to find him and stuff like that. But um, I think if I had to say, like, uh, something that I'm interested in having um, that I don't have. Uh, I think it would have to go back to like the uh, 12 inch GI Joe. I wish that I could find some uh, legitimate like adventure team figures from uh, that were original. I have one, but that's it. And then I have these ones that came out within the nineties, but I think it would be re really cool to have like that whole set, like that, the adventure team where he was uh, searching for the mummy's tomb or whatever with the three wheeled mm -hmm. or the six wheeled um, excavator. And then they had like the, yep. The little mummy thing. I think that that whole set would be kind of cool. So I've been thinking about that lately. That'd be really but, cool. I I can't think about Holy Grails at the moment. All I can think about is the dude smoker. 
that you can control by his phone on an app. Would, be, would you crawl into the smoker if you were near it? I mean, I'm not stupid, Vern. I mean, you know, I, I, I've got <laughs> a brain. I'm not, not going to get into a smoker, am I? I mean, come on. Have you seen that, that Bugs Bunny where he goes to the witch's house and he crawls into the cauldron because he thinks it's a, a, t- a tub? No, I missed, missed that one. Missed that one. Missed that one. <laughs> Vern dropping, Vern dropping Bugs Bunny. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but you know why? It's like uh, TV Land or Me TV. They started showing the Bugs Bunny and Friends at like nine o'clock on Saturdays. So like I've been catching some yeah. of those episodes. And I watched those all growing up. Yeah, I I just think that the, especially the ones with the Wiley e. Coyote and the Roadrunner to me are like my favorites, and I think those are hilarious. But watching Elmer Fudd and um, Bugs Bunny, and he's like, be very, very quiet. <laughs> oh, here he is. Look who showed up to the well, party. Always oh, fashionably here he late. Is. Here he is. Here he is. Look at his face. Look at his little, look at his little, sorry, face. Look at his little face. How can you be cross with him? Yeah. Look at his little, I'm so sorry. And you know he's got some well, good stuff there here, as man. well. He's got some good swag to show us as well. Look, he's all excited. You can tell. Nah, I've just been so busy, guys. I apologize. It's madness. So, how is oh, that? Man. Oh, well, good, good to have you. Good, good man. We're glad you're here. Over here. Hey, what's up, man? What's happening, Sean? Same old, same old. So good to see you, sir. Everyone's our friend, uh, Sean Solo 8. He likes to fly casually. And uh, yeah, he's, as always, coming in hot. Nice. Come welcome, hot. buddy. Yeah, coming really late hot. today. Really late. Coming in. Oh, I'm hey, we, <clears throat> permission hey, to buzz the tower. This, yeah. Yes, we uh we we saved the tour of the cab cave till you got here, so you were, okay, good. were in good shape. Man. We wanted you to this. see that. Good. So I want to welcome uh, TEW Wrestling. What's up, dude? Oh, hello, 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 hello. hello. Oh, hey guys, I'm going to transfer this over to my iPad because my battery's getting ready to go on my phone. So I want to make sure that once we get to the tour, up, I'm good to go. So I'll drop off. Yeah, and go for it. Back on. Yep. Yep. Cool. So, Sean, we were just going over uh, Holy Grails. So okay. uh, it's uh, my turn, then your turn. I'll give mine real quick so you got a second sure. to think. But uh, we nice. actually were just talking about this before the show. I've got three Marvel Legends right now I'd really like to have. Uh, Blue Beast, uh, Mystique, and then Iceman. And I really just need Blue Beast and Mystique for my 90s X-Men display and to complete that. And then Iceman, I could have bought that thing 50 times for $10. Oh. And I just, eh, yeah, yeah. And then Firestar was launched. I was like, first thing after I bought Firestar was, oh, I need an Iceman now. And then Iceman was like fifty dollars as soon as Firestar yeah. came out. So uh, th- those are my three uh, Legends Grail items. And he's back, groovy, nice. Hey, All right, you know Sean, what? I was curious. You got one? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I want that Psylocke from that Nimrod three pack that you reviewed. Uh, I want that really, really bad. It's just every time I see it for what is it, sixty bucks? I think it's hard to pull the trigger Ooh. on that. And also, Dude, that's Iceman. more than I paid three pack. I think yeah, I paid. No, six. you got on sale. I think. Yeah, didn't you? And, and now that, but that Nimrod now looks super cool with um with the House of X figures because Nimrod yeah. was in that comic. So yeah. I have Nimrod with Omega Sentinel on the back, and it's just like how it looks in the comic, man. It's super cool. Yeah, and that's your fault, you know, because uh, <laughs> those excellent videos, those were really, really good, and I definitely want that. That's probably a grail of mine. Uh, another one would be Iceman, like you said, Retro Iceman is a must. But you know what is really my next figure I'm going to pull the trigger on when, on eBay here shortly is uh, Scarlet Spider with a blue hoodie. They have two versions, and I'm not sure which. I've seen like 20 videos now, but uh, he's both about 80 bucks. But he's who I want really bad. Scarlet Spider with a blue hoodie. Uh, have you got a Casey Jones figure yet? <laughs> no. Oh, we got, we got to get you <laughs> yeah. one of them. I got that shredder for my birthday. We need to get you that. We need to get yeah, you that. that, that's a uh, – yeah, you're <laughs> – someday we'll update uh, – uh, you're, uh, we'll, we'll hack your Twitter account and just change it to Casey Jones. <laughs> yeah, right. might as well. <laughs> might as well. <laughs> all right. So guys, I, I think, uh, I think we've all earned this right now and I'm, I'm pretty ready for it. So I'm going to, I'm going to throw the banner up and, uh, it's cap cave time. So, ooh, so everyone, ooh. Josh is going to give us a tour of the cap cave. I'm gonna, let's make yes, this please. full screen. Yes, please. Nope, that's me. Again. Right. Yeah, I know. I gotta switch it. Vern, you're always <laughs> we always like to have you come up. 
So I will give you guys the grand tour here. Let me switch my camera. Ooh, in high definition. This is gonna be exciting. If you uh, if you put your camera in landscape mode, we might see more. Ooh. Yeah, definitely. You throw it in landscape. Josh, if you put your if you How turn your camera, you, you know just why? turn it just turn it on the side. Just turn it. There you go. Yeah, yeah buddy. Well, I suppose so. That work? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. I can't oh, look that's at good. that shield anymore. To me, it's like <laughs> Anakin's lightsaber. That shield is just that is awesome. Forever. Very good. Awesome. Nice entrance. Nice you don't entrance. Like that shield. No, I love He's it. Jealous. Have you been He's watching Winter jealous. Soldier? What does it say? Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. Perfect. Very nice. Very nice. Anybody who uh, that that say underneath? knows them some Disney. Uh, uh, that'd be is... me. Charlie Brown. Be the person Charlie Fred Brown. Rogers always knew you could be. Yeah. Oh, good advice. All right. And that then is. lastly, up here. Who's Fred Rogers? Hmm. Mr. Rogers. All right. So then we get into wow. the proper. Is, it, is this oh, a basement? Yeah. Is this a basement, Josh? It's massive. This this is my basement. Yes, sir. Wow. Wow. Oh, he's got. Oh, look at it. Look at it. So if you guys see anything you'd like me to to get a little more focused in on. Yeah, go give us a tour of the whole wall, dude. Let's yeah, see, start. Let's see the, yeah, everything, yeah. man. Let's get some fun go pop. left to right, man. Funko yeah. pop so I got most of my Captain America collection in here. Oh, uh, these right are like bat displays oh. that you can get from uh, like Michael's. Yeah. So yeah, Vern's got a video when they go on, on his channel uh, on those. Yeah, they're nice. They're nice. I like them. Nice poster. Is oh, that look at that poster? Yeah, I will say that I did like uh, the touch that you had Iron Man and Captain America facing off in the middle of that at one display. That was fantastic. yeah. That was. I think that came in the Civil War Funko yeah. Collectors Club that they gave out. Hold on, Josh. Chewie's got his glasses on. Let's have a look at Chewie's glasses. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is okay, what happens when you. Oh, that's awesome. He's got his this shades what happens on. when you leave belongings behind in the cap. Yeah. Then he's got the aviators have a tendency on. Tendency of taking them on. So. Is that that uh, uh, laughing mask that was so popular for a while? It was, yes. Yeah. I think I paid like ten bucks because of damaged packaging. So nice. I'll gladly take that. And then I've got what I have here in terms of my vintage collection. So this is everything that I had when I was young, uh, oh, left wow. over as far as my Star Wars stuff. So try to give that a uh, nice Very home. Nice. Uh, missing a monkey lizard. So if anybody knows a guy, let me know. What? I'll send you one. I'll send you one. Send me your dress. I'll send you one. And then these are, a lot of these are the new Amazon uh, that they came out with last year. Yeah, that's nice. Nice. That's nice. So I picked those. Nice, nice wampa. Oh, you got yeah. that. You got, you got the, you got the vinyl monkey lizard there and Jabba. I've got that yes. one. Yes. Yes, I that's do. Good one. Hold on a minute. Go old, back up. Uh, go. Is that, is that a Jabba the Hook cookie jar there at the back? What's that? Uh, it's, a, uh, it's one of the old, was it applause? The oh, ceramic yeah, applause. mugs that they yeah. put out. I need yep. that one. That's good. That's good. Yep. And then oh, I've the got old, that uh, Vader. That's good, that Vader. Yeah. All right. Nice, nice, nice. And over here we've got me, my uh, arcade cabinet that I'm working on. I've got my nice. deck coming. Uh, so this is the retro pie that I currently have set up over here. Um, that's going to be replaced oh, man, that's with the, the full... uh, X Men. Yep. Yeah. Dude, yeah, that's so... awesome. Yeah. So that's retro nice. gaming console. This is a sweet Yondu that I had signed by Michael Rooker in, mm. uh, in Chicago. Nice then I've got my my bar back here. Oh. Of course. Captain America cookie jar back there. You can't turn some lights on or anything? Yeah, man. You can, have, sure. <coughs> can have a little party down there, can't you? Get a few yeah, drinks in. Get a few drinks. Oh, there we go. A popcorn machine. Yeah, yeah, that's better with the lights. That's yeah. good. I like yeah. that old style sign, dude. That's that's vintage. Yeah. That's awesome. I told Go you, man. We got a ton fridge. in common. Go off stickers on the fridge. Go off. Oh, rolling rock. Oh, yeah. And we got uh, my kegerator back here. So, 
We're ready to go for any parties likes that a, might come up. Likes a beer. Likes a beer. Big foot crossing. Oh. Nice. Yeah. This is my uh, my workshop with my printer. Let me throw the light on oh. real quick. Hang on. Sorry. Yeah. It's I'm not trying to make on. everybody sick. All right. Of course. Big in it. Big in it. Uh, so this is where the magic happens. This is where I do nice. all my 3D Look printing. That. Oh, that looks good. That looks really Except good. For the workshop. Yeah, so that's here's good. a few of the things that I've printed here in the past. Anybody who follows me. So this was a Kurt Russell Santa Claus that I printed and <laughs> I didn't finish that myself. That's funny. That's funny. Hey. Jack Nicholson Joker that I did. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, then I just got some... really good on there. Thank you. I just got some various other Funkos. Funko Pops. Well, you're definitely a Funko collector. There's no yeah. doubt about that. I uh, yeah. It's good. Yeah. Uh, this is my wife's little collection down here. This is the corner of the the cap cave that the wife gets to to claim. <laughs> so she's a big Wizard of Oz. Yeah, she's a big Wizard scary. of Oz fan, so scary. Scary. That's yeah, man. That, so, yeah. That's uh, that's the horror section of the cap here. Oh, look at that! Is that three D yeah, printed? Is, is that three D printed, yeah. Josh? Yeah, it's printed that. Massive. Wow, that must yeah, have taken a big. must have taken a lot of uh, uh, like sanding, not sanding, but you know we have to clip away all the little bits. What you call Lots that? of supports. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so then I've got the, uh, is that a land oh, speeder? Oh, I'll get in there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, is, that a, is that a dog bed? Monkey lizard song. Yeah, I put the dog bed on it. I'm trying to get my Whoa. dog to, to ride around in it. He will. Uh, he, he's not a big fan. Bob! 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 <laughs> get for yeah. Get for <laughs> it, Bob! So, listen, one thing I pride um, myself more than anything is trying lost. to find a good deal. I got that thing for 70 bucks when Toys R Us was closing up shop. Oh, yes. That's amazing. Oh, I love goodness. cruising around on that thing. That's oh, cool. that is so good. Uh, here's some other just various Sesame Street type stuff. Uh, this Captain America gnome that I had made myself a while back. So, <laughs> I'm a big fan of just like weird, weird stuff. Like, I don't know what this girl's problem is, but. Does it look yeah, like bring it, yeah. worth bringing home? Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's just strange. This is my uh, DC portion of the Cap Cave. So, nice. it's a so modest... what are the two figures you got? Uh, so it's the uh, the Superman Frank Miller, Batman? the Dark Knight. Yeah, the Dark Knight Returns. Nice. Superman and then the Dark Knight Returns Batman as well. Yeah, those are good ones. Yeah. yeah. I, I wish they were. they had really... Uh, worked on that line a little bit more to make them a little bit better and sort of stuck with them, but they weren't that bad. Like I've got a few yeah. and I mean, if I'm being honest, like I know everybody's like huge into the McFarlane's right now. I, yeah, just for me, the seven inch scale is what, you know, takes me out of that line, but me, me too. Me too. I say that as I'm staring right at my uh, Arkham Asylum McFarlane. So those were the, those are the only two that I, I've fallen in love with so far to, to feel the need to add to the collection. So, so that's the DC portion. Uh, these are some different decanters that I've collected over the years. So I, like I said, I collect a ton of stuff. So it's a lot of like barware and, and things of that nature. Here's my recent AEW collection. Oh, Darby Allen's not a not a fan of hanging out on the skateboard. So I know you guys wanted to talk a little wrestling figures tonight, have some perspective on that. So happy to. Some big ring nine is massive. Yeah, that's the uh, authentic scale that you got to get off of ringside collectibles. What massive Django in the corner? Oh, look! Yeah, oh, that oh, look at that that's. That's not a standee either, is it? That's a. That's, nope. that's a yeah. It's like. What? You got a bunch oh. of yeah, that's small. Look at him. What is that? What's that? Is, is he all right? Is, what's he doing? He's still... Yeah, what's he doing? <laughs> so, hey, this was the. Uh, oh, it's a standee. 
looks 3D, doesn't it? It doesn't look it's like it. That looks so good in the light right there. You looks just can't so tell. Good. It looks yeah. 3D, doesn't it? It yep. doesn't look, don't look like a standee. Yeah, so those Dude, were all from awesome. when Attack of the Clones came out. I was working at a, a grocery store, so I snagged a ton of these. So I've got him, and I've got the clone as well. I'm just oh, a simple yeah, man. The clone is just amazing. I'm just a simple man trying to make my way through the galaxy. And then I've also got uh, uh, Anakin's hanging around somewhere, but I don't have him displayed currently. And then we get into the uh, Star Wars and the Marvel Legends and this big, huge Jason Palmer artwork that they had at that Star is Wars nice. Celebration. Yes. Oh, yeah. God, that was massive, that artwork. How, yeah. well, how, did, you, how did you get a copy of that? Uh, I was at Celebration, and they were wow. selling it. Wow, I, that is incredible. I had, I, so I had never splurged on any big ticket item previous to this. And it was, I, I was there, and I talked the wife into it. The wife, I've got the best wife in the world. She is so supportive of me and my collection. And uh, I take care of her. She takes care of me. So I'm grateful to have somebody that, that supports me so much. But uh she let me pull the trigger on it and for the longest time it's been just holed up in a tube and i finally figured out a way to display it because it was just going to be a pain with yeah. like trying to figure out a frame or trying to figure out like some type of acrylic uh something to that nature to try to display it well so all i did is i just grabbed like foam boards and i like cleared the foam boards together and then i clipped it with binder clips to it so yeah, that's, that's a special piece for yeah, sure. Yeah. I, rem I remember watching them um, install that um, during one of those Star Wars celebration, you know, build up videos. Yeah. Um, that's fantastic. Very good. Yeah. So then we get into the, uh, the Legends and the Black series. So I, for the longest time, was a Minton card collector and I got tired of staring at boxes all the time like i'm not gonna sit here and tell anybody to open their figures by any means but i i have found much more pleasure in and posing and and putting them into different display works as opposed to to them being in boxes so mm -hmm. nice i love the lighting man it's so crisp you could make out every figure that's my favorite cap with peggy right there i love that one this that one here pack. It's underrated. Yeah, dude. With that, oh, dude, that that's such a good cap figure. But you get Peggy and that shield, and then he yeah. comes, and he also comes with the unpainted uh, uh, Captain America shield, which is yep. so cool. Yeah, it's a great set. Yeah, yeah you you've lit these. Fun. You've lit these cabinets very well, actually, because often, often you get one or two um, rows that you can't see, but you've 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 lit each one very well. Uh, it, it was a lot of work. So there, there's a lot of trial and error. If you guys don't, aren't familiar with how to do any kind of electrical work with soldering and, and LEDs, it's, it's extremely rewarding, but the learning curve on it is, is a, quite the pain. Uh, so if you're, if you have any talent at it, if you want to make your, like, I have a, a very modest collection in my opinion, but the lighting <laughs> just takes it to the next level. So yeah, love the uh, love the can we love the Vader uh, Soka Rebels? Yeah, a clash. Yeah, yeah and I stole the uh, I stole the Dooku the Count Dooku effect and I put it on the Vader saber to oh, it's good. make it, it look really a little good. bit more in motion. Yeah. Excellent choice. That's yeah. excellent. Yeah. And then what's I, the signet? What's the is that? Oh, is that is that Tudic? Yep, it's Alan Tudic. Oh, cool. So oh, that's cool. Everybody asks, like, how do you, you know, if, if a lot of people like to take their mint on card collection and, and get autographs and things like that. But I found these little black, uh, black artist boards that you can, you can buy in like packs of 50 and just a, a silver paint pen and then just put them in a little frame and set it next to your figures. That's what I've come up with. Well, that's nice. So I also did the same thing for Eunice back there. That's nice. That's nice. Nice, love those solo figures. Oh, too, love love the fallen jet, fallen oh, Jedi. Oh, yeah. you got Clone Commander Obi Wan. Oh, yes, sir. That's so awesome. Oh, there oh. he is, straight off the poster. <laughs> Dude, I was just watching the, the Clone Wars uh, anime last night, man. 
that, that's a really fun uh, two hours to to watch uh, parts one and two. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Finally got that Jar Jar at a screaming deal of fifteen bucks. So happy! I yeah, I picked up that. another like one for uh, eight ninety nine yesterday. I got it. They were still twenty two dollars at my Target. Well, it stickered that, but it rang up, scanned oh. it up. Mine scanned at eight ninety nine, but it said oh. twenty ninety nine. Hold on, hold on, Josh. Can we see the? Can we see? Can we? Can we get the smooch action? Can we have a little bit on the? You want to yeah, say, uh, want to uh, welcome uh, Apprentice yeah. Ewok? What's up, buddy? Yeah, you know, just hey, in time, Brandon. Uh, for the, Southern just Comic in, Geek. Just in time for the smooch look. Smooch, yeah, so I like to I like to mix it up as far as like the poses are concerned. It's easy to do action poses and things like that, but I have a lot of fun. No, wait, with, like, what Han is that? Go, go what what Han yeah, is that? Yeah, he's got the nice pants. He's got the good pants on, hasn't he? Is that yeah, what is the, that? Uh, that was the first release on the uh, the red cart or the the red box. Wow, that's a really cool looking figure. Yeah, it's decent. Some good action going on there for sure. So Josh, yeah, lots of great comments right now. We got uh, uh, Apprentice Ewok says this is awesome. Josh Anderson says this is awesome, Josh. Oh, hold on. Hold on. What's that? Hold on. Oh, oh, what's that? Hold on a minute. <laughs> what's that? Is that, is that, is that Spring Break Leia? What's that? That is. Hold on. Leia gone wild. Why is he green? That's 3D printed, right? Why is he green? 3D printed, yes. He's so green, I haven't had Josh. a chance to finish him yet. Oh, I want a green one as well. <laughs> <laughs> I want a green one. We can make that happen. Shabby, oh. Shabby says, fantastic collection. Gilster says, a, amazing tour. I swap you a green one for a vintage one. Uh, we could do that for sure. Okay. You're in. You're wow, in. dude. Clink says, awesome collection. Thank you, everyone. It's amazing. It's Red amazing. Ranger, Chris, you and me both, buddy, says still still kicking myself for not getting Clone Commander Obi-Wan when I saw him. You and me both, dude. Yeah, you've kept the Wampa box because that's a nice box, isn't it? Yeah, seeing so many of these figures makes me go, oh, no, I want that one, too. Oh, I want that one, too. <laughs> it sucks. Right? Oh, these, look at this. Gosh, I love I Look love at the that um, setup, man. That yeah, spidey look, setup is awesome. Look Thanks, at the man. goblin on his on his flyer. What's that flyer? Oh, look at that. That's yeah, so up. that was that was the old Toy Biz Nick Fury jetpack. Oh, oh, and, that's oh, awesome. Oh, that's really and I fresh, repurposed but... it, and I just drilled a little hole out, and I plugged in the goblin glider, and I thought that that. Set up pretty well. I gotta be honest, man. Like that is such a cool figure. I don't. I don't know why they didn't put like a little clear stand in there for the goblin. A hundred percent agree with you. Hundred percent agree with you. Totally should have come with one. Uh, another cool one is this is that Moira McTaggart that they just put out. Yep. With uh, oh, did you marry Janeer? I married Jander. Yeah. And if you marry Jane, dude, she makes a good. That's a good Mary Jane. Yeah, it's not that bad at all. I had her previously on the uh, the Claire Temple w- that came with the the Luke Cage the MCU two pack. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Wasn't that bad? The skin wasn't a hundred percent match, but it it worked out good. But once I saw Moira McTaggart and I saw the versatility of that figure, uh, Hasbro, please make more like random generic people that we can put into the line like that because. Uh, this Moira McTaggart, if you guys haven't picked her up already, you might as well just go ahead and grab like two or three of them because yeah, she's, yeah, she's going to be bigger. excellent for figure photography backgrounds. Oh, he's got Iceman. Look at that. Oh. I'm still waiting. I've got the uh, Firestar in my pile of loot and I haven't been able to pull the trigger. I'm only at like eight items waiting to get more. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, that looks real. I like the way you've done that. That looks very special. That's good. Yeah, I I was tossing around the thought of maybe getting rid of the Ahsoka because I replaced her, I upgraded it, and it's like, why would you get rid of Ahsoka? Like they're all such yeah. good figures. They're all so oh, good. Oh, where's that effect from? Is that that's not from Black Series? So I made that. That wow. is actually so. If that you is look massive. At it, oh my! Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty awesome. Cool. Actually. Oh, you can see it's. <laughs> It's hollowed out. So all that is is a small piece of wire that I started applying hot glue to and just pulling it off. And then I attached it to a light bulb and then smashed the light bulb out of it after it had cooled off. And then I just painted it with some wash. Very, very special. That's that's good. That is so cool. 
Oh, I like the Mythoskull. Mythosaurus skull. Yeah, that I printed and I finished that as well. Wow. So that's why I love the 3D printing is like just complementing your collection and finding new ways that you can just enhance it a little bit. So um, I know think, this is probably dude's favorite section of the, the collection here. You're making me want to... I do like your DJ Rex, man. Love yeah. the DJ Rex. He needs a little DJ booth next. He does. And then that dark gray yeah, this actually is the dude's works really favorite. well. Uh, no, I, 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 I would actually, I would put that one over, uh, I like that more than Rise of Skywalker. Wow, look at that. Wow. Look at that, dude. That's amazing. Uh, did you, you, you said you had a small collection. <laughs> I don't think you have. Think you yeah, he said it's good. modest. It's, it's not modest. modest. It's pretty good. I mean, it's pretty, pretty, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I it's tried to cool. look at that. Have at least one wait, 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 wait. Go up, go, up, go, go up to where'd you get uh, uh, T'Challa's uh, t uh, throne there? That's another one I printed and I finished. Wow, oh, dude, that is wow. awesome. Yeah, it's got all the and buy a 3D printer. That's very good. <laughs> those, uh, what are those ladies called? They pop, don't they? Look at the colors. I can't remember what they're called. The Dora Milaje. Dora Milaje. Dora Milaje. Yeah. God, they, 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 they yeah, they, they're good, aren't they? Yeah, I still need to get a decent Nebula figure. So in the interim, I'm stealing the uh, the Black Widow, the jumpsuit that came in the uh, two pack. Oh, that's a good. On. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, I like the little dog man. Oh, I love how you have Spidey there. Thanks, man. Yeah, these uh the web you got effects. Your Guardians in the back. Oh, dude, you got oh you planet Hulk, Hulk. Yeah. Yeah, that build a figure. Right, it's pretty sweet. Vern's gonna have him. Watch out, or Vern will have him. He'll have his head I'm off. Have now. Oh, He'll Jeez. have his head off. <laughs> right, we got pick. the Spider Verse down here. My long Spider. battle with Peter B. Parker is finally over. Uh, command strips for the wind. So if you guys <laughs> are having difficulty <laughs> keeping him up. Uh, in a vertical position, a uh, little bit of a little bit of command strip action should get the job done. That and a little bit of uh, yeah, he, floor luster. He is hard to stand. Yes. Yeah. Oh, is this, oh, this, is, this isn't true. Yeah. It's my uh, vintage, chewy. my '97 uh, Star Wars edition. I was working at a grocery store when I was a kid, and uh, got that. So. Happy nice. with that. Oh, what else? Nice picture of Vader. Yeah, so I am a Michigan State Spartan fan, for better or for worse. So, I don't know what that is. You're probably better that way. That was All just right. a pile of loot behind you, sounds like. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that, don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> was that we'll a big layer? That was, 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 that, was that a layer there? Did we see? Did we see? Which, oh, this there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We zoom in on. Can we zoom in? Zoom in a little bit there. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> Save it for later. <laughs> Does anybody well, have like a, a good porn riff that we can put under this and make Salacious feel a little bit better? Bow, right. bow, bow. I, could, I could come up with something. I could come up with something. Oh, uh, what else we got? So we've got the Motu two organ origins that are coming out. So I've been trying to grab the ones that I like out of that section. Uh, here's a cap commission that I had done by Mitch Brightweiser. That's nice. That's very nice. And then we get into these other shelves. Oh, I like the big, I like the big one. Oh, they're bright. What line is that? That special edition line, the multi. Those are the uh, those are um, black lights. Well, yeah, black light oh, version. Oh, you turn the light off and they put the, yep. you have to put ultraviolet light on them, do you? Yeah. Mm. And then some of these are just temporaries, temporary homes. So I've got room to grow into the collection a little bit. Oh, I've got a Slimer. Oh, I like this. I like. You got the gun. Is that is that a retro? Is that is that a retro? Nope, that's the one that they uh, just put out. So unfortunately, not vintage, but it's the. Uh, 
the retro one that they put out. And then I have an affinity for these uh, ad icons, Funko Pops. I don't know. All right, then. I got the uh, McDonald's crew down here. Mackey D's. We call them Mackey D's. Did you call it Mackey D's? We call it Mackey D's. Bigger fan of McDowell's. Big Mac's got nothing on the Big Mac. Owners of Gremlin. Oh, I like the Gremlins. Is that oh, NECA? Yeah. Is that NECA? Yeah. <laughs> These are the NECA Gremlins. Uh, pain in the butt to try to get to Stan all the time. Uh, NECA's just have this uh, desire to go horizontal at a moment's notice. So, as you can see here, Spike is kind of... If I had to venture a guess, I'll come downstairs in a couple days and he'll be laying on the ground. Almost as if Gremlins are in my basement. Scooby Doo. Nice. Yeah, Scooby Doo and Ash. Terrors. Yeah. That's a combination, isn't it? You've got some monsters there, and then you've got Scooby Doo. I suppose they like... juice, you know? <laughs> Yeah, these are the new cool. NECA Toonie Terrors that they've been putting out. I thought they were yeah, pretty fun. Yeah, I've seen fun. those in the store. They are fun to look at. Yeah, not that bad. Oh, and then I got my Ghostbusters collection. Ooh, that's oh, cool. love the Ghostbusters! Love them, love the Ghostbusters. Oh, you got the Terror Dogs, Terror Dogs. Yeah, I got the set of the Terror Dogs. I like Terror Dogs. And then just some various odds and ends in here. <coughs> Sin City. Need the girl from Sin City. Hey, hey, good show. Hey. Love it. Uh, that's me. I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh this is really nice, really special. This looks like an homage to Captain America. Nope, there's the captain I need. Welcome to the Cap Cave. Way in the back. Uh, probably about 10 years ago, by a good friend of mine, they say that you're not supposed to come up with your own nickname. So I was wearing a Captain America football jersey and it just kind of stuck. So, I mean, I've had it on my, my car. Back there, That's so that was crazy looking right there. <laughs> legit vanity plate. Then we mix up a little bit. I love artwork. So that Hulk is actually done on a old vinyl record. Yeah. Oh, cool. that's really good. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. I like that kind of stuff too. I've got more artwork probably that... Uh, I've got nowhere to display it because there's just can't way leave too Mario much. out. I've got that Mario. Yeah. In fact, I've, I've got, got the I've, I've got, got the other one. Got a couple of empty walls in here. Uh, not, not many. <laughs> no, not I'm many. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Disney, Mr. Ghost, Mr. Ghost would like that. Thousand for Ghost. The uh, haunted mansion. Ah, oh, I love the Ducktales. That's cool. That is very cool. Uh, anybody order that NECA, that Gargoyles figure that they're putting out? No, I have seen the clip, so. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. I almost did, just to go with my other one. You're going to regret not doing it. Probably yeah. For... T-U-R-T-L-E power. And yeah, then we got nice. the, uh, those new turtles that have just uh -huh. hit Walmart here recently. Yeah. If yeah. I ever see those, I'm pulling the trigger on them. Yeah, sure. I, mean, I want them. They're too. I good. had like not much interest in picking them up, but after I saw them in person, twenty basically twenty five bucks a figure, I felt that was pretty reasonable. Oh, Ooh, I think I just I'll got that Voltron. I'm not sure I'll, if that's the same one I got or not. I collect those the, uh, Transform Transformers. I collect those. My oh, I don't have that one. Is that Batman uh, metal? Nope, that's uh, one of those. What is it, Hikari or the the, okay. the Safubis or whatever they're called? The is Safubis that the Robocop that? Vinyl, machine vinyl. on the bottom there? Yeah, it's yeah, Ed, Ed, Ed two hundred nine. Ed yeah, two hundred nine. That's a vintage. I found that's that in an cool. antique shop. So, oh, that's a good find. Like that. Pick that up. Ooh. This is my small Transformers collection. I'm a huge fan, obviously, of G one, but. Uh, I, I I can't take the deep dive into it. I got the uh, sound wave. <laughs> I got the sound wave at a screaming That's the one deal of like eleven bucks. Yeah. I won't buy Transformers. <laughs> yeah, 
the uh the grimlock figure that new grimlock figure that's out is oh uh, absolutely I hope I incredible see him on clearance man because he's on the shelves over here and i want one and it's really bad but all right 49 um, grimlock yeah at 49 sean i thought the same thing but man after you get him he's such a big figure it's yeah it's it's worth the money <laughs> all right i appreciate that oh no here's my uh, uh, great the cobra oh my play. gosh oh. Thurn's getting excited now. Oh, that Cobra Commander. I had him on pre-order when I couldn't find the um, the Target exclusive uh, Cobra Trooper. Mm. I went and canceled all of my pre-orders because I was like, well, I, if I can't have a full collection, I wish I had not canceled that one. Yeah. that's yeah. That that's figure, this gorgeous. packaging, is it's absolutely unbelievable. I yeah. I. As you can see, I don't have a ton of stuff that's actually like in package and displays, but like I had to leave this one in. Yeah, that was one just, just too looks good. awesome like that. Yeah. I just need to figure out a way to display the uh, the snake eyes, the big deluxe snake eyes that had come out, like figure one. Because I've I mean, yeah, that. That, that box is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. On that one. Yeah. And like I said, I like to try to do different stuff as far as Sedu uh, seduction. poses are concerned. Yeah. <laughs> Profit did director. you see the video I did with those two? I did, yes. <laughs> Where he with the money burns his hand. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the classified collection. Big yeah, fan of that. Cool. Not a big fan of the distribution woes that we've been running into. That's oh me either. And are, yeah, and are all those mean, all those signs you have are all the signs on the shelf are are those 3D printed? Yep. So I printed yeah. the Cobra one and I printed the Joe one. So, it's yeah, we're an amazing time. It's a Captain America mirror that I had. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Mm. That's really nice. And then a few must. Go in there. A few well, must. Oh, we're going in. We're, we're going in. Oh, got, where, the, where the magic the, happens. It's got toys. It's got toys <laughs> where in the there. magic happens. Yes. Where the magic happens. <laughs> so, yeah. It's hard to so, tell what to that poster point, is. Vern, this is just a random creature from the Black Lagoon poster. Uh, but Vern, to your point, yes, I ran out of wall space and I had to encroach into Ben's room. So, yeah. <laughs> well, needs must, needs must. Every wall is covered. So how nice. often do you have guests come over and check this out? Uh, unfortunately, you guys are my first visitors, so oh. <laughs> welcome. Appreciate you guys being here tonight. Uh, well, it's, yeah, since the I pandemic, it's been difficult. Look at that room, man. Um, you got you that got is, space. Uh, you, you got space for me. You wouldn't know I was there. No, come on by. <laughs> and I've got and I, and I could have that little car, and I could get, I could get around the get around the room in that little land speeder. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect that Wolverine for me, poster really. is signed by Michael Turner. I met yeah, him in Chicago sick. at a convention, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, oh, what's in there? This. What's in there? I thought it was over. There's more. Yeah. <laughs> what's, 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 <laughs> what's in there? So these are the, my Q figs that I've collected. Oh, I've got some of them. Yeah, I like them. They're pool. relatively inexpensive. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're fun. fun. The bottom. They're fun. They're fun. Yeah. It's a nice cabinet. It's a nice big cabinet, isn't it, Josh? Yeah. It cabinet. is. Ooh, that was cool. Oh, What's up with the guy with the flag on him in the back? Oh, look at that big Hulk. That's the uh, Earth X Captain America from the uh, Alex Ross. I think it was the yeah. UCX series. Look at that Hulk in the show. Look at that that Hulk, look That's at what that I'm Hulk. saying. That... So that was... Vern's going to have a cardiac in a minute. So that was a <laughs> master... <laughs> Master replicas. If anybody loves going to conventions, I highly suggest going to conventions on Sundays when everybody's tired of and they don't want to carry their stuff home and everybody's like just giving you a ridiculous deal. So I think I paid like 70 bucks for that thing. Sneaky. Yeah, that's awesome. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, my, my only Batman the Animated Series piece of merch here, essentially, and I got that signed by, uh, by Batman himself. Mm, so look at that Harley. So look at that Harley, Josh. Hold on. It's a, yeah, yeah. it's a solid yeah. Harley. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's nice. That, it's nice. That. Very solid nice, Harley. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. So I, I only have the one hot toy. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw my tweets earlier, but the, uh, 
that Ahsoka and Grogu that they just announced is calling my name. I'm not sure what I'm going to oh, do about that. What's the boss say about that? Have you dropped any seeds? No, they're, they're, it's up for pre-order now. I think it's mm-hmm. three fifteen or something to that effect. Oh, you can make payments and she won't even notice, huh? Yeah. Tight. Well, Tight. my no, wife would let me do it, but the the problem is, I, oh, I it's it's scary. I I went to the website just to look at, you know, what was going on with oh yeah with how much it was and whatnot, and I I ended up okay. I'm I'm gonna pull the trigger. I'll just do the the layaway plan, and by the time I was ready to check out, I had also added Captain America, and I was oh, like no. six hundred bucks. Yeah. Like, oh, this, this is put the oh, pause this on is the one. problem that's the problem, problem right you like you, yeah you go to look and then you like start oh yeah well if i'm willing to do that i'm gonna add this one and and this one and oh i might as well get that too yeah. uh, there, so was a, to, uh, there was a little picture oh, i just wanted to hit a few comments okay. go oh, ahead oh, oh, oh. Right. there was a little picture of leia being cuddled by a wumper i saw oh. it <laughs> come on come on come on no look, All just right. a little one. <clears throat> just a little look. Just a little look. Don't yeah, show that any was definitely epic Gilster off the door. Look. That is there we really go. There an we awesome go. Uh, room there. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. I also got Janine. Oh, it's more. Bride of Frankenberry. And Ripley. Oh, Ripley. Or walking a, it's Ripley walking a face hugger. <laughs> walking a face hugger. That's funny. That's funny. All right. So, uh, uh, Vader's girl says, "Love your collection." G four says, "Tease us Thank with you. the pops and finish strong with the detoffs." Yeah. Josh says, uh, "He said modest collection." Uh, super awesome. Geek show says, "Really nice collection." Thanks for yeah. sharing it. Comes close to his. Yeah. <laughs> Red Red Ranger Chris says the door melage are bad. You know what? Come on, yeah. Indeed. On. The welcome Jedi Trek. Jedi Trek says stunning collection and display is so nice. Thank you. Very nice. Appreciate it. Oh, Nate's here from out of the basement, man. What's up, dude? Hey, Thanks for stopping up, by. Good Hello, to see Nate. You, buddy. Hello, Nate. How's it going? He took the day off, and his brother uploaded a video this morning. Gilster says, epic tour. Very, very epic. Very epic. Out of the basement says, hey, Josh, nice to see you here. Very cool, man. Lots of good comments here. So let's see. Uh, G4 says he just ordered the Clone Wars Ahsoka hot toy. Can't wait oh. to go for the Mando one, too. Oh. Deep oh. pockets. Is he falling on his back? What's he doing? <laughs> Off-world Adam, what's up, dude? You are right there, Josh. Hanging out? I'm good. I'm good. Good, 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 good. Get settled, get settled. All right, so I think we've all. Is everyone catch their breath after his modest to his modest? Not really, collection? not really, not no. really. It's funny. Sure, I want to go around there. How many miles there? did we just walk around that basement? Holy oh, snakies! No. We got so, good square footage. Yeah, yeah, you do, man. So, all right, guys, man, I'm I'm recovering from that. So, uh, why don't we? Uh, who wants to start us off with weekly pickups? What did you guys pick up this week? And let us know uh, in the chat as well, everyone. Uh, what, what were some of your pickups this week? And then also welcome Paul's collectibles. Hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. Hello, hello. All right. So, who who wants to go first? Because Sean's off. Matter. He's like Sean's off like a whip. It look yeah, can, grabbing his new stuff. <laughs> Vern? Vern's all right. I'm gonna throw yeah. Vern up. Excited. All right, so I didn't open this yet. So oh, God. Came from God. Amazon. <laughs> See how it goes. Oh, are we doing? Are we doing how? <laughs> what condition did it come in? Yeah. I love this game. Amazon roulette. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been watching um, somebody's vintage collection, and so I picked yeah. this up. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, I can see it. It's that's that's all right. worth it. That is that's going right. down in history. So slippery that's slope, right. but that's all right. But you I, could I didn't have this one. You could fly on that. Yeah. So then, um, have you guys seen these new Mago figures? Yep. Um, yeah, I think we talked about what they've about been trying to do. Pulse, uh, yeah. Pulse show. Somebody talked about it during your live stream last week, and um, I've been looking at some of them and and I'm not a big fan of like the ones that I've been seeing in Target and stuff like that, but I did see this one 
online. So oh, I oh, oh, yeah. Ultra man. I don't know. They were coming out. Oh, yeah. So what's so, the articulation on that guy? He's got this guy's going to be fully articulable. Uh, elbow, shoulders. He's just like a black series, except for it's oh, like an eight man. inch figure, just like those old uh, Mago superheroes. So, um, but as an Ultraman, I mean, I it was just mooch. It was just epic. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I have one other thing I'm going to show off, and it's because of Sean. Sean, I watched your uh -oh. video about uh, Wolf and the head. So I okay. came up with a fix for you, and here it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that looks great. That's amazing. I love it. Oh, right. dude. The dude that commander. I need a dude army, man. A dude army. Yeah. We have a whole so, uh, Red, a Hulk Red army. Chris said, burns, uh, head. Red Ranger's Chris said, pray to the toy gods. And you're opening up the Amazon packages. Ooh, out of the basement, yeah, you, finally you know, got his bow katan. Grats, buddy. Oh. Wonder how that yeah, feels. Yeah, I wonder what that's like. Let me know. <laughs> oh, that's smashed up. How much, are they expensive, Vern? How much are they? Um, that one was eighteen. I think that that's that's about what they run. Uh, right around fifteen uh, at Walmart. Yeah. Yeah, but I this one I got at Amazon, so somebody's taking like three bucks and making a little bit extra on it, and that's fine. I think that's what I would have got it from Entertainment Earth after paying for shipping, mm -hmm. anyways. So uh, yep. I'm not worried about the card because that's actually going to come out of the package. And there's, as you can see, there's no fancy artwork on it or anything. So I'm not worried about it. Love for it. That. So uh, nice GeForce uh, Soka print arrived today. So if everyone check out his Instagram uh, to see those pics. All right, who's, uh, who's up next? Who wants it? I'm real short. I'll take it. So... Uh, oh, I just want to mention how you waited to pick up Jar Jar Binks. Very smart. I picked up another yep. Jar Jar Binks. The sticker go. actually nice. said twenty ninety nine, but I scanned it at their little scanner and it was eight ninety nine. So, ooh. Uh, and then my daughter was with me. She was like, "Do it, Dad. You'll never be able to get one of that price." And then uh, yeah, the only other thing I got was uh, these epic. There's an airplane. I live right near a big military base. Are these uh, bendy webs, which? The nerdery believes we should be getting these, you know, with everything. And Josh just Absolutely. showed some of those off in his place. But uh, yeah, where do you get webs, yours at? Uh, Look how much cooler it makes webs. the figure. Yeah, I know for real, man. For real. But seriously, it just it adds a whole other dimension to the figure. That yeah. is fantastic. It really is. Yeah. And you can pose them any which way you want and you know, make them straight. Like that's just straight up. Uh you can't find this wire though anywhere. I think scalpers are like on it for that stuff. They know. What, what kind of that. what kind of wire is that? Uh, I already know what it is. I did a lot of research. It's beading wire. So you go to where they make like jewelry and necklaces okay. and stuff, and it's just wire. And they always have silver, copper, black, every color you can think of, except for this white stuff, man. Uh, so what I did after I saw your video, just so you know, I went on Amazon and I ordered a floral wire in yeah. white, and it was mm -hmm. like a like a twenty eight gauge or something. Yeah. So it's super you thin. I bought that and too. um, and I thought that that's what it was. So I I made some. I just so didn't did I. bring them upstairs. Yeah, uh, I made one, and my daughter told me I shouldn't buy any. That mine were good enough, and that's when I tried to hunt down uh, the real wire. And I know it comes from Hobby Lobby. So if you got a Hobby okay. Lobby, uh, that's where they sell it. But yeah, I found mine at like you said too, and it's about the same thickness, but it's not quite the same. Okay, uh, it's got like yeah. paper or something on the outside mm -hmm. to make it white. I don't think I picked anything else up this week. I don't know. Uh, I should post online more of stuff, I guess, so I remember. But you know, you know how that goes. I don't remember what I grabbed. <laughs> I right. put a uh, salacious or Josh. The uh, those webs you can actually get them. There's a guy on Mercari who sells sells those. So if you yeah want to. Want to just go that route? That's where I got mine. The relative. Yeah, mine too. Bendy webs. It was nine ninety nine for a bunch yeah. of them, man. I got a whole bunch, and uh, yeah. he did a great job. Yep, well worth it. Mm. I can show you guys what I got if you want. Yeah, let's see it. So this is. Nice. If anybody was following along with me today, these are the things that I picked up. So Razor I've already got I've already got one of these Razor Crests, but I haven't seen it around in a while, so I grabbed it for trade bait in the future. That new Macquarie Vader was pretty sweet. Oh, I saw him too, but I put him back down because uh, yeah. he just looks so good. I like your Freddy. Yeah, I love Did that Did you Freddy. see the uh, R2 
and the three PO. The three PO yeah, little pop one looked cool. Yeah, they had all four of them for whatever reason. The, only the Vader really spoke to me. Um, mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, like I've I've got a decent sized Funko collection, but I don't have every Funko there is, and it, yeah, like it's it's a slippery slope with those for me too. So mm -hmm. I got to kind of pick and choose. And I picked these up for one of my buddies in the uh, fig hunting communities. I don't know if you guys have seen these new NECA, the Defenders yet. I have not Defenders seen them in stores at all. Yeah. They, so these just popped up at Target today. So I snagged nice. all them. And Ming the Merciless back here. And then if you guys are... Those are sick. ...wanting to do an unboxing later, these are your candidates. So Ooh, you oh, dude, look at that segue. Yeah. yeah, that is going to be good right there. What wave is that? Uh, so there's a lot of them. So this is the Stunning Steve is from 81. Bailey's from 80. Bianca Belair, a little topical. She's from 81. Alexa Bliss is from 82. The China is the, what, the Royal Rumble is, uh, oh, the WrestleMania edition of China. And then okay. this was yeah. a Ultimate Edition Charlotte Flair, which I picked up off of Ringside with damaged packaging just to save a couple bucks. Oh, yeah, I'll end up opening her. But those are your candidates for good, good candidates. Red Ranger Chris said he uh, picked up the Jar Jar for $8.99 too. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you're so lucky. Yeah, I guess somebody also, I seen a comment earlier, somebody found the vintage collection and sent them to Boss Bounty. Sent them my way next time. <laughs> what uh, do you was mean that Gary vintage? Moore? I don't know. I guess that new Return of the Jedi wave, is that what he's talking about? It's already hitting stores. I saw pictures on Instagram today. And they just announced it, what, last week at Hasbro Pulse. So those figures are already hitting stores. It's crazy. Oh, my gosh. Have you, have you seen the pictures of those uh, Shang-Chi uh, Legend of the Ten Rings yeah. figures? There's already yeah, online dude, uh, reviews. The, uh, uh, the Game there. Reverse Cap I saw on Target. Yeah. yeah AJ, AJ saw, like, a whole set of, like, those figures. Uh, yeah, that, that Era Vera 98 or whatever his name is, He re he's reviewed them all already. The new Iron Man and yeah. everything. I, think I, that, I, ran uh, to, I ran to Target. The Star Wars section was pretty much empty. And then uh, they, there was a couple Jar Jars there and some Groove Cargas. And, you know, of course, none of the new wave of figures. And then when I went to Legends, they had uh, four of those uh, Gamerverse caps, which I, the figure looks cool, but I just, I'm just not into the Gamerverse figures a ton. But that I almost grabbed it because of that shield with the arc reactor yeah. in it. I thought it that was good. really sweet. So, so that's something where if it's a peg warmer and it's like half off, I'll probably grab grab that just to get that shield at some point yeah yeah i think the fush said that's his favorite captain america man out of all of them uh, wow. one of his videos if that's the same one you're talking about it's almost like in an iron man suit um yeah. i think it's from uh that avengers game which i didn't play very much into yeah salacious do you have uh do you have any pickups you're on mute uh oh you're on mute Short arms can't reach the mute button. Oh, oh, I've actually got caught. Well, I was supposed to say I'm a bit short. Yeah, I got some pickups, Bob. Come on, get the camera, Bob. Bob. Okay. Up, uh, Bob. Salacious does have some interesting pickups this week. You'll be uh, pleased to know. So, first of all, uh -oh. uh, right, see if I can. Uh, so, those of you that are into your old school hip hop, <laughs> This nice. is a custom. That's um, insanity, man. This is, a, this is a custom. <laughs> uh, this is Jam Master Quay. Uh, is he turned around there? Let's he can, is, unfortunately. I'll see if I can turn him around in a second. Hold on a minute. This is the best bit, though. It is. Look at Crumb. Look at the Crumb. <laughs> Crumb is Love absolutely it. He's got a gold it. chain around his neck. Boy. Damn right, yes. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> and Dude, then look at this white Adidas on him. And then, yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. insanity, man. He's and like, then look bring at, it. Bib Fortuna is absolutely rocking it. And there's the what? There's Bib Quay Dude, that from is so awesome. Yeah, this is from my my homeboys at DKE Toys, representing those boys are absolutely insane. DKE distributes. Um, custom figures by artists from all over the world. A lot of them are in America, but there's some UK guys as well. And these are just absolutely incredible. 
So this is obviously, um, you know, a copy of an album <laughs> you know, from back in the day. So you got the Quay. Look at the crumb, man. He's just so cool. <laughs> So, Who made that? I mean, what do they think? Um, this is Dead Greedy. This is Dead Greedy, uh, who's an awesome customizer. Sorry, this camera's playing up today. I've got one of this is the, one of these razor cameras, but it goes in and out of autofocus when it wants. So yeah, this is back another one for the custom crumb collection. Cannot wait to get the monkey lizard lair set up, and uh, Josh has given me a lot of inspiration today. So. So that's that one. Got my X Man on um, cards, dude. Yeah, yeah you opened so, it a nice. weeks ago, didn't you? So, no, I've, I've opened the one in the box, so that one will stay on the card just to give okay. me some, give me some nineties nostalgia. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. That, that's so great. That that gambit though is it does have better accessories because the cards are actually playing cards instead of just uh, just like the purple. Uh, uh, yeah, I know, but the card back's so reminiscent of the old Toy Biz figs, isn't it? I know, you can't. It's, it's right. hard to open that one. It's beautiful. Uh, I found this piece of art on eBay. Uh, it's kind of just uh, um, a canvas that's kind of had a piece of uh, art sort of stuck to it, but uh, quite, it looks quite cool. It'll go in the backdrop of the Monk Lizard Lair. Um, I think so that's, that was a, quite cool. that's, a, that's a frame from the Return of the Jedi comic book. I think you're right, yeah. It's a good yeah. shout, actually, yeah. So um, that came over from America. Yeah, you're right. Um, finally got this. He turned up. It's, it's weird how the figures are, are turning up for me. So I had the retro line turn up last week. This turned up this week. So the vintage collection child. I found another custom crumb on eBay. This is my favorite one, I think, so far. Um, they actually used the photograph of the sideshow Slacious for some <laughs> reason. But it looks quite cool. Hey, but the, it looks out of the movie. Uh, but it's the Power of the Force 2 crumb that's that's loose in there. He's quite a cool one because he, he's got his hand on his hips. Uh, he's quite sassy, that crumb. Uh, and then randomly, my Grief Karga showed up. So I've got him. Uh, I've got all of the vintage and all of the retro line now. So I've got, you basically have two of each, don't you? Yeah. So they'll, they'll, look, they'll look quite nice. Except I think for Snaggletooth came, only one in the case for some reason. And then I haven't opened these. So these are the most expensive toys I've ever bought. <laughs> oh, uh, whoa. Uh, that's a big, that's that's a big segue. That is graded case. Yeah, these, yeah, the, I, these were so expensive. I, I'm stupid, really. I probably overpaid, but there's no precedent for them. So these, these are vintage crumbs. I will, I, I will see if we – I might open them later if we do the um, – but these are just regular crumbs. And these mm -hmm. are the cheapest, cheapest vintage figure you can get. Uh, so you can literally buy these for a couple of pound. And I, I, I've got lots of them. But what's, what's special about these three is they've got weird variations. They're all graded by the AFA. One of them, you see the beak is black. He hasn't got a beak on them. One of them, the eyes aren't painted. And then the third one, his, e his ears are half the size. So, and I just, I haven't... If anyone sees any weird variation crumbs like that, please let me know. I'm obviously in the market for them, but I got these shipped over from America. Someone had them specially graded because they knew there were variations. So um, they're probably not exciting for most people, and I'll open them up later. They don't look particularly, you know, too much different from the other crumbs, but uh, they'll go in the they'll be treasured anyway in the Monkey Lizard collection. So maybe when we do our openings, I'll open them later. But I think my, my favorite this week is the uh, is the hip hop crumb. Oh, <laughs> dude, just, that's yeah, just, uh, so cool. He's just badass. So, so there you go. Love it. Awesome. Back. All right, Back. my uh, <laughs> my turn. What up, everyone? All right, so did a little shopping this week uh, on Amazon. These were on sale, and I I bought both of these because uh, I didn't have uh, I didn't have them. So. I, I now have a, a just a straight up Jawa in the black and red box number worth 61. It. Yeah, worth it. So and and dude, I got the other figure I'm about to show you. I got them both for under thirty dollars on Amazon. It's pretty cool. Although Amazon Roulette, you guys can see, uh, oh, yeah, definitely lovely. got uh, destroyed up in the top corner there. And I bought this to keep in box, so yeah. might just open it now and uh, have a have a nice uh, 
uh, added to a new hope display once I get a get around to building it. And then this I already have in card behind me, but I would like to put it in my Empire Strikes Back uh, DTOF display over there, and that is yeah. uh, Han Solo number seventy. So that's yeah. the Han Solo that you were asking me about. Yes, it is. Because uh, I have him too, and I didn't bother opening my 40th anniversary edition because mm -hmm. it, it's identical. I think that uses yeah. photo reel on there. It, yeah, yeah, that was I, where they. I picked oh, up ahead. the I picked up the anniversary one because I thought I was going to swap it out, and I got them, and they were very, very, very similar. And I yeah. I just yep. decided to keep that one, and I returned the other one. Yeah, yeah, you don't. Yeah, dude, this this is a really impressive figure. So it's cool because I got Mind that one blowing. card now. Now I can open the, this one up and uh, throw it in the display. So, uh, but uh, under thirty dollars for those two. And then after um, after just that awesome uh, episode four of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I had to get an uh, an IO. Um, yeah, she was nice. she was oh, eighteen yeah. on Amazon, mm -hmm. and it, yeah. it's like I was just so sometimes like I'll take a few minutes at work and I'll just type in Marvel Legends or whatever, and then I just scroll <laughs> through. And, sometimes. And she was eighteen dollars on Amazon, dude. So uh, yeah, that is again, good Amazon roulette. This, this top part got bent up, but she's going to look sweet with uh, like Bucky and, and uh, Falcon and stuff. So um, I'm pretty excited to have her. And it's pretty cool. She comes with three heads, so you could army build. So you've got two different I, weapons. You have that. Yeah, yeah that's what cool. I did in yeah. my collection. It, what's a, what is kind of a bummer, like they're a great character, obviously. Uh, they were like 14. Mm -hmm. They were down to 14 on Amazon. That's when I kicked up and I, oh, grabbed, wow. th when I grabbed three of them. But as soon as they showed up on... Uh, Bucky in the Winter Sol and uh, or excuse mm -hmm. me, Falcon in the Winter Sol Soldier. Then the price shot right back up. Yeah, so I mean, eighteen. I'm not mad at eighteen though yeah. for a for a figuring box. You know what I mean? So and then Sorry. okay, so this is crazy that this happened. I had pre ordered these off here as like a backup to um, my big bag toy store uh, pre order of the um, of the most recent uh, uh, Black Series pack. I got no shipping notification, nothing that these were coming. And what I'm about to show you was forecast by Amazon to come in June, but Asaz Ventress uh, showed up with IO in the same box. Yeah, that's nice. So yay, I finally have finally. this Black Series figure. I'm so happy. So I still have that case coming from Big Bad Toy Store. So someday I will get my uh, Boca tan, but uh, Asaj looks awesome, dude. Look how cool she is. She I is cannot great. wait to get her out of box, man. Yeah, dual wielding cool. lightsabers the lightsaber hilts look great too they're curved just like they are in the show face sculpt looks amazing i'm i'm pretty smitten with this figure already man can't wait to get her out of box and so, uh throw her in my clone wars display are we gonna get a dude review tomorrow then on that one are we or i i, I think tomorrow i'm gonna come come down here to the nerdery and uh, and film a review on this one for sure she's getting opened up uh, tomorrow yeah awesome so uh, I'm pretty excited. Uh, all right, guys. So the question I always like to ask, then, if you could only keep one figure from your haul this week, wh what would it be? Oh, Mine would be my bendy webs. Not a figure, but. No, it's good. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Wolf. I like that. I'd go with uh, Saj Ventress, man. She looks super cool. Josh, what about you? Uh, I think I would go with my uh, Loki lucha marvel figure i got the entire set of those and those are pretty sweet i don't know if anybody's been keeping track of those at all but uh it's kind of in my wheelhouse being a wrestling fan and a marvel fan so you got uh marvel in my wwe and i got wwe in my marvel so i'll take it nice it's a good crossover Oh, it's a hard one. I, 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 these, these, uh, the the hip hop ones are awesome, aren't they? Like Biggie, Fortuna, and Crum and Quay. But I got to show you these later because these are these are one of a kind. So it's got to be these ones, I think. Love it. So uh, uh, Apprentice Ewok says uh, he seems to lose the pre order roulette. He's still waiting for Bocatan, Asajj, and Bad Batch. Yeah, me too, man. I I, I pre ordered the case. I I thought I'd actually get him early if you ordered the the whole case but uh the toy gods uh i did not see me a uh, fit for for having those figures yet so they, they've seen get all your youtube wrong. videos see and, see that's kind of like you. that's kind of like to me like i don't know if that's a, a necessarily true because i like the i like the big, big bad toy store because the way they uh everything seems to come well packaged and everything it's packed but when, well, you, yeah. but when you order a case from them I don't know if it's the actual case that comes from Hasbro because the one I got from um, Entertainment Earth had like the extra 
extra uh, trooper and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So it was actually like a case. It didn't just have, have the one of each figure. And so I don't know if Big Bad just gets the cases and then makes their own cases. And then makes of their one own of cases. Each. Maybe that's why yeah. it takes longer then. Interesting. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll never be doing that again. Bows. Lesson learned. <laughs> yeah. You get two of everybody in that case almost. Yeah. Except for Asajj, yes, single, single packed and crosshair. Hey, so, so oh, that you... hand solo that you got, I just wanted to say mm -hmm. this, it came out, it was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive when it first came out. Oh, and with the came, breather. Yeah, and it came with the breather and one of the uh, mine Min Minox, or whatever. Minox. Yeah. Yeah, they're on and, sale. Um, over, they're on sale here in the UK at the moment for £30. Oh, I, got, I got one actually the other day. I should have shown it as one of my pickups. Oh, you got the set, the one with yeah. the uh, Millennium Falcon backdrop and everything. I'll, I'll just get it. Yeah, that that's a cool that's a cool setup. The way they had it in the box, and it comes with the breather and it. But this was the it was the first photo reel that they did for Harrison. Ford. I talked to the guy at the convention, and he said, "Yeah, what they did was they took a scan and then they de-aged them so hmm. that they could make the head." Oh no way! That's color. cool. They yeah. did a good job with it. Yeah. 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 So uh, G Force, he picked up Firestar, great figure. Mine's, One of mine's the best. still in box. I One think I'm gonna, I think I she's gonna stay in box till I can get an Ice Man. She's a beauty. I think I think that's what I'm doing with her. Yeah, there it is. That's the set. I totally forgot that this is one of my pickups. They're on sale in ah. the UK. Yeah, oh. they're uh, thirty quid. I haven't oh, even uh, I, I haven't even opened it yet, to be honest. Yeah, it, you just slide it open and it looks like he's down coming off the Millennium Falcon landing gear. Okay. I actually sent this box to um, Let me do it Darth now. Mark, and he was using it for display with some of his vintage figures. Oh, ooh. What's oh, quite big, isn't it? That's but I massive. wish I had it. I wish I had another breather because I think it would be cool to have him and Chewie with the breather. I'm or Leah. Yeah, that would be really oh, yeah. cool. Right? Yeah, see? It, it just uh -huh. looks really cool in the box. It's quite big. I haven't really got enough space to show you, but yeah, there's a little Minoc in there as well. Hmm. That is really cool in that box. You see, with these, special, right. with these special boxes, you know, these special editions... Would you take those out of the box or would you keep them in the box? Because there's a few of these ones that open up. <laughs> yeah, I take mine out. So of I, I have uh, the Return of the Jedi uh, from last year's uh, Comic-Con one, and uh, that's still in the box. I think it looks too cool like that it, I, because all those figures, except for the Ewok and Speeder, um, you can get separately. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had planned on opening that Heroes of Endor set, but after seeing your review on it, dude, I I don't think I'll be opening it. it assuming I ever get it, but that's a whole other thing. <laughs> 2022 yeah, when it shows up. Yeah. Mind. Be nice. Yeah, when, when you see the Heroes of Endor set and just how it's packaged and has the, you know, you have all the detail in the background with, with the cardboard, and then, you know, I have mine angled right now because it's just on a detox, but it fully opens up, and it, you have three different scenes in it. It was just too cool to open. I, I couldn't do it. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to display mine. I'm going to get a, a turntable or something, a rotating turntable that I can plug in and just have it constantly spinning once I fire up the base. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's a really cool idea. Because it's it's on all sides, basically, isn't it? Or is, is the the back, is that? Still? It's uh, three out of four sides, and then three the back is, is just, yeah. Uh, yeah, three out of four. You, you could get one that just goes, yeah. Rot yeah, and just rotates it like side to side like that. That'd be cool. Yep. So a uh, Smuggers Canyon says ordering a case is different to ordering a complete wave. The retailer has to manually select the cases for waves is why it takes on. So actually the what I ordered though was just a case of the wave. So it's only the five figures. Oh yeah. yeah. So that's but why. that that's good to know if you get the other type of case though, where it is like, you know, two of Bo Katan and then you know how how they do that. That's so that's that's good to know. I know with ringside collectibles, if you order a case from them, they just send you straight up the case. And it's not, mm -hmm. there's no additional packaging. It's just what they got. They slap a FedEx label on it and get it out the yeah. door to you. Yeah, that's how I got mine from Entertainment Earth. Yeah. Yeah, Entertainment Which is kind of a bummer Earth does mine different. Advertising what's exactly in They the stick my box. case inside of another box usually. Uh, every Did time they really? I've gotten one. Yeah, oh, every yeah. time. So it's like, no, maybe, I'm, yeah. maybe I'm accidentally Stop. picking the, you know, uh, special shipping. I don't. 
I hope I'm not. I thought I was no, getting I, free. I think they just like you better. No. I don't think they liked me. <laughs> they never respond to me on Twitter in their comments. Is it some of the uh is it some of the discreet packaging so people don't know exactly what you're <laughs> getting there, Sean? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think so. Yeah, Bob Bob gets a lot of that discreet packaging coming in. I don't even know what's in there. Hey. All right, guys, Never. so can we see your candidates for tonight's surprise unboxing? So we already saw Josh's. And uh, everyone who's watching, let us know in the comments. We're, we're, uh, if this is your first time watching. Um, uh, what we'd like to do is each of us will show a couple candidates for a surprise unboxing. And then uh, oh my we'll, God. we'll all kind of vote and uh, pick what we want to open. Mm. Oh, my God. Is, is what that is that? that Hulk on him? What is that? <laughs> no. Fern, you have got problems. <laughs> Hold on. Make him full screen. Oh yeah. my God, Vern! Vern! I could just have him. Vern, sit on, sit on. Are you all right? Are, are, are you all right, mate? Are you all right, mate? I'm fine, delicious. Why are you messing with me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do worry about you. Lot. I do worry about you, boys. I do worry I about like... you, boys. You, you know, you, you you agreed to come. You agreed to do to do a talk show with a monkey lizard, and. As the as we're now we're now onto our we now onto our fifteenth episode, I'm starting to understand why you were all so quick to agree. <laughs> yes, because we have no problem with it. <laughs> <laughs> it it kind of looks like a Jim Henson creation, right? It it's does slightly yeah. larger head than the rest of the body, but it looks like it's like. Yeah, yeah. I'd say Game it's sli Hulk. slightly disturbing, is what I would go with. Well, he's getting angry, but the uh, the outfits containing the rest of his uh, bulkiness. <laughs> I love it. All right, so we know we saw Salacious. Salacious might uh, uh, take uh, one of those out of the bubble wrap. Josh has the wrestling figures. Uh, what do we got from Verno here? Yeah. Ooh, can I can I vote for Ultraman? Yeah, you can vote for whichever one you want. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to vote for two. Ultraman, dude. All right. that, that's an Ultraman. All right, and uh, Sean's getting his. So my contenders this week are Invincible Iron Man from, uh, I think, the 2018 comic book run. Comes with uh, some blast effects in his sword. Shatterstar. Got Shatterstar. Right. Shatterstar's right. already been voted for. Shatterstar. No, no, no. Shatterstar. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, we, we got Malakit, uh, who I picked up on eBay for 15 a week ago, and he's going to go right in my uh, cosmic collection. And then uh, I'm going to go uh, also Io uh, from the Dora Milaje. Um, super excited to uh, add her to a future MCU chat, display. The chat's going mad for Shatterstar, though. The chat's going, the chat is going mad for Shatterstar. <laughs> they all want Shatterstar. Everyone's oh, doing it. Uh, that's not fair. It's not a, it's not an option tonight. I'll tell you what, when we get to 50 viewing, I'll do a shatter star. How's that? That'll be our, our, when we get it, when we get up to 50 people viewing. Is that, is we got a shatter star vote. Shatter star, shatter star. There you go. Just need 13 more. Another, another shatter star. Uh, Shatterstar, you guys are the worst. <laughs> Io, all right, Red Ranger Chris, all right, the I, voice I, of reason, Io. I, I love how you sit there, like, you brought Shatterstar to the party, sir. So why, like, what, give tonight. the people what they but want. Not tonight. Well, but, but, you but here's the thing is, each each week it's a different set of figures. That, that's the whole fun of it. Have you He's not all dangling this yet. carrot since the beginning. No. Like, you can't show no, it he, act Sh one. Shatterstar's right here. <laughs> here he is. The, got, chat, the chat's Shatter going mad for Shatterstar. I thought you were setting mods yeah. today or something, but there, there we go. Shatterstar is right here. Everyone in the chat. Nine, eight, three, once, four, we get up five, to, six, once we get up to 50 seven, viewing, I will open your Shatterstar. How many eight, likes? Eight, 18 nine, likes. We've only got 18 likes in this video. Ten, can we get, can oh, we get 30? Can we... I, I'm not ready. I'm just not ready. I'm not ready. To open it. <laughs> I'm, not ready. I'm not ready. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm not ready. Dude, is, I dude you, are most, not, you are I'm the most. You are the most fickle collector I know. You're just gonna make everybody pay for you not wanting to open up Shatterstar. Oh, I just I can't do it, man. I'm sorry, guys. Someday. He was Someday. in the running before. What happened? Uh, he's out of favor now, isn't he? Out of favor. He was. I didn't he was even want. 
I didn't even want Shatterstar, but now I feel the need. I have to find a Shatterstar, and I'm just going to start dropping. Like instead of Rick rolling, look, you're going to get Shatterstar, and I'm just going to start opening. Look at on camera, nonstop. <laughs> look how cool he is. Yeah, I'm just not ready, man. He's he's. He's going to go into my 90s X-Men display, even though he's, he's different than how he appeared on the show, but uh, it's pretty cool. Right. Not, not, I'm not ready. I'm not emotionally ready. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Right, so it looks like so, everybody... Uh, Vern, are you Sean. only collecting the, uh, the Hulk off that retro line? Or are you grabbing no, actually... No, I got all stuck up on. Uh, I they're in my closet. I'm not going to bring them all out, but I think I got all of all of them so far, um, except for there was one that I saw in a picture, and I realized, <laughs> oh, I don't think I have that one. But but I have, I have almost all of them now. Nice. Oh, uh, I'm sorry about Shatterstar, guys. I, you know, Josh just said my hopes and dreams have been Shatterstarred. Well, I, I think I we, 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 all, we all feel the same, to be honest. You know, I'm just, you know, I'm just not so ready, much. man. Like, like they're, they're okay. I have, and I open a good amount, but I also keep a good amount of box. But in box right now, I've got Bishop, I have Jubilee, um, I still have Rogue, um, I have uh, Mr. Sinister, Emma Frost, Magic. So like there's certain figures that like I'd like to open, but I just I just can't. And Shatterstar, I'm just not I'm not ready to open him yet. But I can open I can open Malekith. I could open uh, uh, Io or Invincible Iron Man. Oh Shatterstar! I will go with the, uh, with Io slash the Dora Milaje. All right, that's that's a good vote. vote. Sean, Sean, you guys? Want, you guys want Sean, Sean wants Shatterstar. Yeah. No, that was out of the Io? basement. Yeah, speaking of who I wanted to open, where is that guy? Not I getting many I, votes for the others. I think I got all of them. I love those, Burn. I actually. did get one vote for Iron Man. Didn't see it. Red Ranger Chris <laughs> wanted this Iron Man right here. No, I think he was confused. <laughs> you guys are going to be mean to me about this. No, okay. You opened Iron Man last week, didn't you? You had an Iron Man out last week. No, I did. Those were uh, uh, Iron Man I already had open. And this, yeah. all right, and I will say That's something cool about this figure. Iron Man. So, so Salacious, you're right. Last week I was talking about uh, comic Iron Man, uh, yeah. Marvel Legends figures versus MCU. So yeah. this is a comic uh, Iron Man figure, but it has MCU level details. So he's actually a pretty unique um, comic book uh, Iron Man figure because most of the others have that same uh, body mold. And this one is more like an MCU figure. So he's pretty cool. All right, let's get him out of them. Let's get him out of them. <laughs> All right, we got some Iron Man votes in here. Let me grab some more. So Super Awesome Geek Show says, I still need a retro rogue to go with my Gambit. It's crazy I never found one. Me too. Yeah, Me dude, too. They, they were up and then gone. Me up too. Up and gone. They hit Josh really hard Iron and there was Man, like a Iron lot Man. of them, but then they disappeared and then they were, real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then the storm too. Like storm was like flooded and then they then they disappeared as well. There's plenty of dazzlers about, but no, but no rogue. It's good to grab a dazzler, though, man. That that's a good figure to have. Um, Apprentice Ewok says, "If you won't do Shatterstar, Iron Man." All right, so we got a couple Iron Man votes. Yes, all right. That's a, that seals the deal. Oh, uh, Raphael. Uh, Kat, Raf Kat, Raf 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 said, Raf yeah, Raf Raf Raphael. Gets... We're gonna do it, man. I'm gonna open Iron Man just for you, buddy. Raf <laughs> Iron Raf Man Raf is code for Shatterstar. Raphael, yeah. <laughs> Raphael, say Shatterstar next week. Next week. Now, Raphael um, already voted. It has been chosen. All right, who uh, who's ready? Who wants to uh, open theirs first? I can do it. Vern, I love it. Uh, yeah, it looks like Vern's it's uh, Ultraman. It. Everybody wanted Ultraman. Uh, first, before I get started, um, I did make this Ultraman out of a wrestling figure. Oh, I like him. <laughs> Can you guess which wrestling figure this is? Um, I don't know Ooh, that line. That's a Josh question. Come on, Josh. Oh, geez. Is that like one of the old OSFTMs? No, it's a... Uh, man, Randy Savage. He's actually in the movie in movies now. Oh, that's a rock figure? No. A Bati Bat a jo Batista. John yeah, Cena. Batista. Or, uh, Batista. 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 Yeah. Yeah, you can see. You can probably tell by the uh, maybe these pieces. Right? 
Got muscled up <laughs> like on an ultra man. Muscled up. All right, so. right, cut the bottom. Because dude said if you cut the bottom, you could slide them out. Keep the cards. Thank you. Thank you. That that would that hurt a lot less. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, Whoa. here he is. He's, he's so funny all these Mego you. figures come with like some sort of a cloth outfit, right? It's just like in the old days where you could like take take it off and do your, mm -hmm. you know, swap them around. But they, oh man. Oh, it's, 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 oh, it's, oh. He's, break, he's break his arm off. Oh. No, the, it, it's it's the his fabric. Arm. Yeah, it's, oh it's yeah, look at that. Snapped his arm what, off. It, what it is, it's got like um, my arm, my arm. a hook with a rubber band inside. That's oh. how the arms oh, stay that's on. That's old so. school. Yeah, get that that's back interesting. Home? Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. Dude, you that just... just totally made me think of toys as a kid. Do you remember when that um, uh, the yeah. rubber band would break on the inside? Yeah. Holy so, cow, dude, that's crazy. He's got the uh, good movement there. These boots come off too, and then you can see that he has uh, the flex in the feet. Like, is that a six inch scale? This is at about eight inches. About eight um, inches. Here, let me hold on. So. <laughs> that's a size <laughs> size difference right all right dude but, um, I'm, I'm totally going to unbox my uh um i have i have that whole wave with uh with dude thor i'm gonna unbox it and start playing with it like burn now it's really weird though because like um you see how they got the velcro on the inside they mm -hmm. got the velcro on the inside here so if i really wanted the two velcro pieces to like touch he would have this little thing on his back which is kind of like strange right they should have put one side of the velcro on the outside so it would just lay mm. closed but um i think he looks pretty good i like the silver on it right uh it's reflective and uh the head's pretty good i mean it's this is rubber and it only articulates left and right there's no up and down motion but i think for posability he looks pretty good and well i don't know with that rubber band you can't get his hands together to do like a little cross but I think it looks okay. That's yeah. pretty cool, dude. Very cool. Brings back some memories, nice actually. Background. You know, having a having an Ultraman figure. For whatever oh, reason, nice. I never got to see that stuff when I was a kid, but I have a, an appreciation Hello, for it as I got older. That's a hint. That's a hint. When are you sending me my King Ultraman? <laughs> I still haven't sent him. He's coming. I am going to fight the monkey lizard. <laughs> and I'm going to be on HBO Max. <laughs> All right, give us a kiss. Give us a kiss. <coughs> give, my give us a snog. Ah, he's pretty good compared to the uh, wrestler, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Very good. All right. All right. That's it. All right. Who's up next? Did anybody pick a wrestler that they want me to open? Here we'll go. We'll go to Josh. So Josh, my vote would be for uh, for China, just because uh, she's from way back in the day. All right, let me uh, go grab China. Figure what about you guys? Anyone course. else have any votes? Uh, Brett the Hitman Heart. Oh, does he have a Brett the Hitman Heart to open? Oh, I'll, I'll I'll see Brett the Hitman Heart. No, I don't have a Brett the Hitman Heart. <laughs> I was just I was just being silly. Sorry. All right, so Josh is going to grab uh, uh, China. So Josh, tell us about um, is this a, a WWE figure? What uh, what kind of figure is it? Yep. So this is the WWE Elite. Let me get my mic plugged in here. Make this a little you bit. Your, if you put your camera on the side, we get more real estate with you, Josh. There you go. Look. There you go. There it is. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Look at that poster. That right. poster's massive. Especially oh, dude, that poster behind your shoulder. shoulder. Yeah, that poster's amazing. Very modest. So this is this is from the WWE Elite, the WrestleMania line. Ooh. So this is China from Ooh. early two thousands. Wonder right why you picked her. She was dude. Right around the time she was hanging out with Eddie Guerrero. Tear into this. Wasn't she? Uh, she was married to uh, Triple H, right? 
Uh, no, she was not married to Triple no, H. She was. That's she was McMahon's. Dating. Wasn't that McMahon's daughter? Yeah. Yeah. So he was. But it, weren't were her dating. and Triple H together, like story? Okay. Yeah. They were. They oh, were no, yeah, they I were, remember that. They were legit together. Yeah. And then. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They were. Then together. Stephanie came along and. Well, Stephanie, I say Stephanie. The rest is history. So here is China. She comes with uh, Rocco. If anybody remembers Paul Ellery. Oh, no. Uh, Look at that guy. Had a little ventriloquist dummy for a time being. Uh, well, so if anybody who, wants Rocco, let me know. Yeah, yeah I want Rocco. Comes with uh, <laughs> Paul Ellering's arms as well. Yeah. Let's just pop out China. Get, Rock, get Rocco out as well. You want Rocco out as well? Yeah, he looks. He looks about a monkey lizard. Monkey lizard size. Oh, listen to that! Perfect. Oh, he's cool. There's Rocco. You could three D print a monkey lizard head and put it on that figure. Oh sure. yeah. No articulation aside from the head, so yeah, not not crazy about Rocco, but hey, if I can uh. Get rid of them and get a little Kuponski for the future endeavors. I'd appreciate it. She comes with a nice throwback Winneman's championship belt. That's cool. Pretty good. Cool. Good looking look at head her, scan. Look at her guns. She's got the guns of Nava around there. Yeah, dude. China, China was uh, was built well, man. Like she was strong. She's impressive. How well was right. she built? Dude? Look at that. Look at those guns, man. Very impressive. Holy cow. Very impressive. Decent figure. I'm happy with her. My uh, my WWE Elite collection, uh, due to a lot of their politics, I've not been a fan of trying to support the brand as much as I once did. Uh, but I do limit my collection for WWE these days to the uh, women's division and some of the Legends characters. So tried to get away from many of the mainline characters at this point. Very nice. cool, man. China was cool, man. Very cool. All Very right, cool. Sean. Sean Salacious. Yeah. Uh, I have a couple All nominees, right. I guess, up. for people here. Uh, we can go with... Uh, oh, I pulled out three. First of all, little, this poor guy has been sitting here for about a year. Oh. Galaxy of Adventures, Rise of Love Skywalker, it. Chewbacca. I see. Okay. Or we got Admiral <laughs> Akbar Black Series, or the Off-World Jawa. Off -world Ooh, Jawa. Go with... Uh, so, uh, I would say Jawa or Black or, or uh, uh, Akbar. A little Chewbacca, baby, little Chewbacca. I'll take that Chewbacca. Chewbacca. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that Boba Fett figure from that line is legit. It is. That's why uh, I'm ready to open Boba. I don't have Han yet, uh, but uh, I should be doing this guy. Check out who I picked up, Josh. Look at that. Yeah, uh, finally got him. But uh, yes. when I look oh. at, dude, is that worthy cap? Yeah. Yes, sir. Where did you get him? Uh, I bought him from that, I think, Big Bad Toy Store for twenty four ninety nine or something like that. But Wait, when did you get him? Uh, about a month ago, maybe two months ago. Oh, dude, I must have missed him. I, yeah. That's definitely on my grail list. I need Worthy Cap. Dude, oh, cool. I'm so jealous. Oh, or I could open I Jar Jar. So. But we opened him like last week, didn't we? But yeah, we got the Boomba out. The Boomba. All right. Anyway, here we go. I'm already opening one, and it's, it's going it. to be Galaxy of it. Adventures Chewbacca. Yeah, these are figures that kids should be finding uh, on the. Well, they find this one on the shelf, but like the new Ahsoka and Maul, and actually, this is really cool. Check them out, honey. My little daughter. Are we allowed to show kids on here? Yeah, cool. Uh, <laughs> of course. Does he look cool? Yeah, my daughter thinks he looks cool, but check him out. Yeah, I got to grab oh. him. Oh, look at oh. that. Look at that. He looks good. Yeah, he looks good. Uh, he's got That's really yeah, cool. some head articulation in there, which is cool. Good elbow and arms and nice hands. Yep. But uh, yep. you know, he, he love kicks that. Up. That fur covers up the joints pretty nice. Yeah, looks really. But good. Uh, I'm just gonna show you his bowcaster. Yep. But yeah, I yep. wanted to nice. open this guy for a while, guys. So, and he does an action figure, right? Five, five and a half inch, I think. Yeah. You know what I like about that bowcaster too? There's no like little missile firing type device. It's just a nice little weapon that goes yeah. hand in hand with that figure. Looks great. 
So everybody needs that worthy cap. But I'm just going to quickly see if – oh, and he's got some uh, like Wookiee action, kind of like your figure he had a minute ago. Oh, But uh, I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to find a way to display him really awesome. But I am stoked. Yeah. But yeah, Galaxy of Adventures, you guys should buy them, really, because – uh, kids should be buying these. Now they got the Mission F Fleet or something like that, Mission Force. So, but wow, that's me. Jar Jar down to 749. Salacious, do you want me to go or do, uh, do you want to go? Uh, you go, too. Just go for it. All right. I will go. Salacious will close us off with that big unveiling. All right. So we're going to do the Invincible Iron Man from, I, I think it was the 2018, 2019-ish comic book run. Ooh. So some of the legends, the plastic stays inside of the box, and then some of it is like a cover under like the whole carton. So this one was the cover on the carton. It's a little dopamine. Oh. oh, throwing fists here. All right, so he comes. Wow, he comes with three different hands. Um, he's got two Iron Man uh, blast effect hands, and he's got. Uh, Two grip hands. And then he comes with the sweet sword and then blast effects. Okay, I'm going to switch his hand. Let's see, I need a right hand. Ah, it's got hands flying everywhere. So this one is really cool, like I was saying, because it is from the comic books, but it does look more like an MCU Iron or Iron Man than a than a traditional comic book Iron Man. His hands pretty tight, so I'm trying to get the get the sword in. Wow, well, that sword's not going anywhere. We do the blast effect. Oh, dude, check it out! All right, so there's the Invincible Iron Man. It's kind of Josh. You should like that. It's the Detroit Lions colors. Oh, strange helmet, isn't it? Strange helmet. That's yeah. pretty epic. This, this is a really cool yeah, mold, look man. Really cool. Look at that. So the helmet, yeah, and it's a little bit uh, shinier just right on the face mask, and it's just a slightly uh, lighter shade of silver there. And you have the blue outline around it, but, I mean, look at that articulation on it. That's sweet. Double. Is that a double lightsaber? Pin. Is that a lightsaber? Yeah. Lightsaber? It's kind of like a lightsaber. Double pin elbow. And are these, these are not butterfly shoulders, but he comes out normal torso body and then twist and turn. But check this out. So you can have him firing a blast uh, with his left hand. And then you got basically his uh, his lightsaber over here in his right hand like that. That's actually oh, cool. Pretty sweet. Off, off world Atom is right. Uh, looks kind of Tronish. That's mm -hmm. what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Super cool Tronish. I'd yeah. be stealing those yeah, blast dude. effects and throwing them on a, uh, a Mandalorian jetpack, though. Yep, I, dude, I already have effects like this on my Django Fat uh, to uh, on, on this side of me over here. <laughs> Can't wait! Till I totally I did my, that uh, already. My Sasha Banks. I'm gonna. I, I'm hoping she'll come with a uh, a black uh, jetpack. Do the same thing. Yep. So, do oh, dude, check it out. It even has that piping detail all the way down the legs and on the boot. This is a pretty slick looking Iron Man. That's pretty cool. Excited to add him to the collection. When are we going to get Hasbro to just like unleash a box full of blast effects and other different weapon effects? I mean, isn't it about yeah, time no we kidding. get something like that? Yeah. Long over. Uh, yes. A hundred percent need to do that. You could throw like they 10 of those in a box and, you know, different various blast effects or weapon effects. And I'd, I'd still probably pay just as much for a, a figure as, as all those effects and weapons. Yep. Can well, you imagine Joe, even with like, Oh, go ahead. No, no, you're good. I was going to say, can you imagine the goodwill if they just did something like mail away, like send us 10 proofs of purchase and you're going to get this pack like they did in the past yes. with like that survival kit with the original figures. Mm -hmm. But you like send in your figures from like a wave and then you get effects for that wave. That would be kind of yeah. cool. That would be really, really cool. Yeah, I, I, and not only that, but even just like Star Wars, like having more effects in, in the Black Series packages, um, I think that'd be cool. Like So like every every Mandalorian who has a jetpack should just have the two blast-off effects inside of it. 100%. Yeah. AJ saying somebody should ask that during one of the Pulse live streams. Yeah, I guess that's true, right? We should bring it up. 
I mean, Hasbro, more than anybody, seems to want to try to cater to fans as much as possible. I mean, the fact that they're putting out, like, the, uh, what is it, uh, what are the army builders that are in the Legends lines that they've got a bunch of? Like the Hellfire? Oh, um, like the Hydra. Yeah, the Hydra, Hydra, that, yeah like the Hellfire Goons, Hydra, and aim, yeah. Yeah, aim Troopers, yep. I mean, the fact that they throw those in discounted pack, packaging and, and try to cater to folks who, who want that says that they, they have mm-hmm. their finger on the pulse of what's going on in the community. So, I mean... Dan Yoon, he, he's responded to me on Twitter before. Guy's awesome. So I, I hope that they listen to their fans the way that they have been and, and start giving us some of that stuff. It was nice to see. Is the is the new Black Series, the Lando, does he come with a – is that a wired cape I saw? Did anybody else catch that? Uh, I don't know if it's wired, but it's a cloth cape. It's That'd a be cloth awesome cape for sure. I don't see any wired. Okay. But that would be cool if they if they finally did that. That would, yeah. that would show that maybe they're thinking about that for the future. You have mm-hmm. to. I'm I'm so psyched with this. So what really what's cool the story? Thing. Why does he have a lightsaber? I can't, I read the comic. Walker. No, it it's uh, I'd have to go back and reread the comic. I read it several years ago on the Marvel Unlimited app. It, it's actually a pretty cool run, and it leads to him dying and then becoming the Iron Man AI, and then he's uh, 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 Iron Hearts. He becomes Iron Hearts AI, and it's all it's kind of. Uh, uh, it gets into the story of artificial intelligence and are you really alive? Do you have the same rights as humans? Um, with uh, Joe Cast, the new who's a, who is also a recently announced figure. I don't know if that wave's released yet, but um, yeah. like Joe Casta is was like he created her. She was an AI, but then she works for him, and then and then there's a whole thing with uh, like kind of like an AI uprising because they want the same rights as humans. So it's a pretty good storyline, but I, I can't remember what the sword's from, other than it just looks really cool having Iron Man with a lightsaber. Is Joe Castanu the Jedi librarian? <laughs> Joe Castanu is the librarian, but Joe Casta is like a, a sentient AI. Uh, did I throw a yeah. new in there? Probably yeah. my brain just you went did. right to yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, but Joe Casta is a, sen- a sentient uh, AI that's uh, uh, kind of like a metallic figure. But I, I'm digging, man, the, the blue blast effect with the, the lightsaber blade. It's sweet. All right, Slacious, so you going to open uh, one of those bubble wraps? Yep. Yep, yeah, let's do it then. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ooh, uh, uh, AJ at the Dregs Cat Show said they should do Stormtroopers and Clone Troopers the same way. Yeah, man. Put them in like a four or five pack for sure. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, these guys right here, you know. Those clones? Yeah, these guys would be mm-hmm. sick, man. The phase one, yep. right? This mm-hmm. is phase one. Yeah. You Put could do a five pack. Those. Do a five pack with four of the clones and then one uh, clone lieutenant trooper. Yeah. With like just the blue markings, that'd be really cool. All right, I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see this bubble wrapped uh, package. Well, don't get too excited because, um, like I said, I mean it is only literally. It's one of these. So they, they <laughs> this is the Please most stop downplaying the exclusive. <laughs> well, just to say, they they overproduce these, so you can buy them in baggies really cheap. Um, but I don't know. I I've been collecting a while, and I'm always looking out. I don't, I've never seen any factory error ones before. So these are the only ones I've ever seen. So they must have produced, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands, but it was a lot. How many How many factory error figures do you think came out of the production? Who knows? But there can't be many, and I think I've got three of them here. So this is the one I'm going to take out. Um, so this is, you're probably not even going to be able to see it. I'll tell you what, I'm going to bring them up here. So this is, there you can see them, look. This is, with crumb with an unpainted um, beak, it's still sealed in his oh, yeah. baggie. Can you see? Yeah, he's got. He's got. Mm-hmm. He's got. Just to, to... Being in his baggie, this is definitely what makes him worth a lot. And, and then, uh, obviously, that's been been sent to. Oh, that's a good rating too. AFA. So that's and I, and, I, and I think they do point out the. Uh, so it says. Uh, Kenna Star Wars bagged creatures, salacious crumb, unpainted beak, ninety. And to be honest, it's that line, unpainted beak, that makes it expensive because you just don't see them. So there's another two here. One says unpainted eyes, and the other one doesn't have a comment on it, but he very clearly only has half the size of his ears. So, um, so if anyone comes across. Any strange variations? Please let me know. 
I'm collect- I'm, pro- I'm probably one of very few Salacious Crumb collectors out there. Um, hit me up, and um, he'll be he'll go nicely into the Monkey Lizard army. So it doesn't mean a lot to most people, but to me, he's quite a special one. So I think it's very great special, pickup, man. man. Congrats, dude! Absolutely awesome. Wow, man, that was that was a good uh, live unboxing. That's pretty cool. Nice work, yeah. everybody. Good times. All right. All right. Hey, uh, let us know in the comments below uh, what you're unboxing this week. So uh, Offworld Adam says, now I want to open something. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Good. Peer pressure. Uh, Sleeping Collectibles says, love the crumb. Awesome. Uh, Sleeping yeah. Collectibles also says, this dream makes me want to open stuff. Do it. Yeah. Open stuff. Do it. Open it. Yeah, you only live nice once, Nice pickup, man. Ron. Thank you. Thank you. Monkey Jeeva says, I have a Star Speeder from Star Tours graded at U90. Oh, that's yeah. very cool. I've got um, one of them, but not graded. From Star Tours. That's awesome. Have you ever seen right. this video of, uh, I can't remember who it was. They they were taking their graded stuff out of the, the stuff and sending it back in to get it regraded. Yeah, to see whether it was accurate, uh, consistent <laughs> yeah. or not. Yeah. And what yeah. happened? Uh, uh, different grades. Yeah. Yeah. No way. Yeah, it's crazy. I think they did a it's skeleton. All in the eye of the beholder, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The person who gets it and actually looks at it. Hmm. Oh, it's been a lot of fun. This been a lot of fun. A lot all of fun right. Too. So, so uh, something we uh, sometimes talk about on the stream are video games. So I, I have a little twist. What are you playing this week? And hypothetically, if it's like eleven o'clock at night, you know, wife and kids are in bed and, and you can have like a two, three hour gaming session. What kind of snack are you crushing during that gaming session? What's your go-to snack? Oh, <laughs> so we're not, how, funny how you've opened a we're, cow, we're, we're, we're a now, worms, we are now combining, we're combining food and video games. Here. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Yeah. We're picking it up a notch. Yes. Me, I don't like to eat when I play games because my buttons get all stuck and I yell at my kids and I make them wash their hands before they touch the controllers. I'm really... I've trained them really well, but my go-to would be chocolate, man. Definitely oh, chocolate, because you can chocolate. put it in your mouth. It dissolves and melts while you play. And what kind that, of chocolate? Uh, be specific. Uh, Hershey's I like, because I'm not what? England anymore. What? You trained her. Have, yeah. Does it have to be wrong? while you're playing games? Can it be like, because if I'm not really playing, I don't. I wouldn't play that late at night. Watching. So, Playing. Like if I was like watching a movie <laughs> late or like, a mocha, switch, no, like no, Starbucks, Vern, you know, this is a very a rigid coffee. question. It's very rigid. So it, it could be hypothetical. All right. If you, if you were going to have a good video game session, what, like, what are you going to sit game and just, just crush while you're playing? Well, that's the thing. I, I'm like, Sean, I probably wouldn't be eating. It'd probably be just to be a big Coca-Cola. Big Coca-Cola. Caffeine. Yeah. Good flavored caffeine. That's solid. Yeah. Hershey's. Mm. Mm-hmm. But I'll tell about, you what, uh, what about Bob, you? Tell you what, Bob Bob makes his controllers all sticky. They're always sticky. Bob's controllers. Are oh, it drives me nuts. <laughs> We're still talking about like food, right? Jackson the Pollock, left, yeah, right? <laughs> Bob's controllers horrible. Pick them up. <laughs> oh, what about what other Hershey? What about else? Other what about other than Hershey's, Sean? Other chocolates? Uh, I I like the other day. I bought a Cadbury's fruit and nut bar. Oh, yeah, really sold okay. those here. That no, is creamy, okay. man. Classic, classic. Yeah, it's a classic. If I could pause and then go munch on something, of course, it would be like maybe some carne asada, French fries, or nachos. Mm. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, that oh, 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 yeah. That sounds very good. Yeah. So especially I, at midnight, I, right? I, I like to be like super Caligula while playing video games. There's something about like just crushing like chips or, you know, while you're playing a game, it, it, it's kind of, they go together for me. So if I could, I'd get like a nice big Coke and then I make a bowl and it's got salt and vinegar chips, uh, cruncher salt and vinegar chips, which are my favorite. I'll throw in like Cheetos puffs and then uh, popcorn and you just kind of mix them up in there and you have like a nice, nice uh, three batches of flavors got your coke on the left and then uh and multiple napkins because yeah I'm, I'm with you that controller gets pretty gummed up but i, I don't know man there's just something fun about mixing crushing good, chips actually. yeah mixing with, with the coke mixing the salt and the sweet there i see mixing the salt and the sweet yep controversial a, a big bowl of a big bowl of ruffles Squeeze what's a ruffle on there. what's a ruffle hold on hold on what's a ruffle they're, yeah they don't have ruffles in the uk I they're don't crisp think. but they've got like ridges what's ruffles have ridges, ridges. Well, they were really gross to me. I remember when I came from England. It's to a, the it's States, like a, like, rough. It's a potato chip with ridges. Um, yeah. 
It, we it, got it, razzles, okay, it, razzles. If you if you think of like uh, somebody eating just an American hot dog on white bread, like in the eighties, they would have ruffles yeah. with it. Like that's kind of yeah. that's kind of what a ruffle. But I would are. squeeze some lime and then throw some tapatio, which is like a hot sauce, mm. on it. Yeah, yeah, tapatio is good. Yeah. So oh, all right. So we got some good comments. Oh, this is interesting. Funyuns, Funyuns, yeah, and oh, Yuhu. Yeah. I like yeah. chocolate Ooh, with get, Funyuns. Get the Yuhu out. Yeah. Get it's out. actually good. Mm. Get like, out. Yuhu, yes, but Yuhu with Funyuns. Yeah, yeah this is a. Hey, to be honest, it's chocolate man. To be honest, this is blown my like, mind. This has come over from one of my gaming streams. The, I like uh, GeForce gaming. GeForce is one of the monkey lizard army acolytes, and they're all about the Funyuns and the Yuhu. It's like the number one. It's the number one combo for the acolytes. I'm with AJ too. Holy Spicy Chitronas is good. We've so got, we got another vote for uh, Hunt Funyuns from Funyuns. Offworld Adam. Yeah, uh, it's another one. Says uh, Spicy Chicharrones. Yeah. Chicharrones. Funyuns again. There you yeah. go. See, I, I know. But I like another, I like another rack. Fancy. Funyuns for the win. Polite. Prentice Ewok says Funyuns. I do enjoy Funyuns, but they're not my go-to. Well, fun you see, like ooh, Dr. English, Pepper and Doritos sure. from OT. Yeah, Dr. Pepper that, is a go-to for Yeah, me. dude. All right, so what kind of Doritos are we crushing? If we're if we're doing Doritos. The cool, I'll do cool Ranch? I'll, I'll do a minute. I'll, cool Ranch is ooh. my fave. Yeah. yeah. I go cool, with the, the uh, spicy chili. nacho. Yeah, well, the chili heat wave. Ooh, Off-World Adam says uh, mozzarino, or mozzarella and jalapeno mozzarella sticks later. That's pretty solid. Yeah. Uh, sleeping does agree that ruffles are garbage chips. <laughs> <laughs> I totally agree with that. They are, man. Um, okay, so uh, uh, sleeping's been playing Red Dead and yeah. with sweet and sassy chips. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the other night I was playing uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla with, uh, with some salt and vinegar chips and a Coke. Sleeping's, a, sleeping's in the same posse as me, and uh, he, 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 he shot my limbs off the other day. I might as well join you so, guys. Uh, uh, Monkey Jeebus says raising canes chicken figures. It's a, oh, it's a chicken oh, they? place. They do breaded chicken. Oh, they're yeah, mm-hmm. like chicken nuggets, like chicken nuggets. Yeah, they just uh, open the canes around here. Bob, Bob, cool going ranch to that. all day. Yeah, Bob's yeah. Going oh, we got more more votes for cool ranch. Bob's got into no the habit. We all of, like uh, Bob's got into the habit of getting ring donuts from Greg's, and uh, when he's game streaming. He like turns his mic off for a second and he can shove a whole ring donut down his mouth <laughs> and like digest it in about three three goes. It's quite impressive. It's quite impressive. <laughs> How many rings can you can you crush in an hour if you timed it out? Oh we'll he'll do a box a day, easy. So do you Does even chew or do you just do the uh like shove the your tongue against the roof <laughs> of your mouth and just destroy that donut and and get all of its essence into your system as quickly as possible. Essence. Boy, I don't, it, it don't seem to do much chewing. It just sort of disappears. So since I'm here to talk a little wrestling, uh, the ultimate warrior, for those of you who remember, backstage and I catering knew. used to take uh, cookies. And obviously the guy had a chiseled physique. Uh, and he, he would take the cookies and he would crush them up and rub them together and he would snort them. And he what? would essentially, he would say that he was getting the essence of the cookie. He wouldn't actually eat it. He would like huff. Just, the just to smell. <laughs> I think he's, I think he's, I think he's told you they're cookies, but I think it's something else. Really. He probably did a <laughs> lot of something else. <laughs> he was the ultimate warrior. All right. So guys, it is, uh, it is eight Oh nine. We're, uh, we're a little over two hours in what, uh, what are you guys thinking? Winter Soldier time. How Winter Soldier. Cool. We've yeah, got to we find out the view. Have that conversation before we, we end to, up. We need oh. to know what the what the dude's thinking. We need Marvel school <laughs> with the dude. I thought Thank today's you. episode was absolutely brilliant. I think yeah. it had an incredible message that it even touched mm-hmm. me and made me open my eyes and think like, wow, this is so important. I I just thought mm-hmm. it was epic. Whoever wrote this. Or uh, filmed it even. Uh, it was a masterpiece today. Yeah, it was a masterpiece. Best, best episode. I, I really liked it as well. I thought it was incredible. Very touching. Such a cool fight scene. Yeah, such a cool fight scene too. Like uh, between the three of them, I thought I thought that was really well done. And one of the things I thought that was really cool was um, 
when uh, when Sam pulled like what Spidey did and tried to grab the shield, he kind of almost had like a web slinger and he grabbed the shield with it. And then he was yeah. pulling kind of how Spidey did the cap. I thought that was a really neat Easter egg there because he probably saw that and had that put on a suit for whatever reason. So I thought that and, was that was pretty neat. And isn't as I tell you what, I, it doesn't it make you really like Sam and Bucky? I mean, I, I love yeah, Bucky, uh, but 100%. Sam Sam's a nice guy as well, any. I mean, you know, they're both so nice, really. And when Bucky was helping him with his boat, that was quite nice, wasn't it? Right, you know, dude. Was, that was so cool, man, to see that. Cool. Yeah. yeah, even it's, better it, the it, interaction it, uh, when when he told him not to hit on his sister, like just yeah, right. Little, that was so funny. Yeah, yeah. I saw it coming from a mile away. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I, I love how they took like two like really well done side characters, right? Like they were they were good in in their role as a side character, you know, slightly developed, and now they've added all these layers to them that weren't there before, and now now they're like mainline MCU characters. Where where you care, I care about them just as much now as I care about Cap and absolutely, Thor, you know, all all the other main characters, and and I would yeah. say they this is probably the best character development and character arcs for both yeah. of them that i've seen yeah. in mcu and, yeah and, uh, totally. yeah what who's i'm the, excited about guys is thunderbolts who's the purple because lady Zemo, who's the purple okay, lady two things so let me finish this one thought now and, and then I'll, I'll say who she is so so the thunderbolts are like an uh a, basically a villains avengers team that started by general ross so thunderbolt ross right Oh, so yeah. Zemo in the comics is the leader of the Thunderbolts. Is so he the Red Hulk? Could, is that the Red Hulk? Yeah, General Thunderbolt Ross turns into the Red Hulk ultimately, Crazy, right? Man. So, so we have a really cool scenario that they're setting up because by sending Zemo to the raft, now Thunderbolt Ross has him and is over him, right? So he can make a deal with Zemo and then bring in other villains from the MCU to form basically the Thunderbolts, which are kind of like Dark Avengers. So I'm really excited for that. And and I, I'm just excited for it because Zemo isn't a bad guy. He's not a villain he, at yeah. all. You know what I mean? And he, they turned him into, I think, a very rich, sympathetic figure where you totally understand what he did. So um, I, uh, I'm i very excited for that. So the the um, uh, Lane from Seinfeld is Madam Hydra. That's who she is. Oh, yeah. I was wondering about that. Yeah. It's, it's uh, Hydra yeah, she's still, Madam Hydra. Is Hydra still Will a thing? Will she ever be in the same shot as Coulson? <laughs> Since they did that other show together. <laughs> well, yeah, it'd uh, be cool if they integrated Coulson back into the MCU somehow. I would love that. He, he's a great figure. I think, uh, what's his name, though? I think Agent Wu might might be taking yeah, over maybe yeah. that role as, as the Coulson, which which is awesome because he's, he's so cool, too. What's the other show? What's the other show? They, uh, he was in a show with um, uh, the New Adventures of Old Christine. Yeah, yeah, where they were like yeah. exes or something like that. Okay. Smooch. Yep. So, but uh, yeah, man, I, I that and then seeing like the dark cap shield being made and and it, you could just see all the scars on it with him making it. Oh yeah. And so it's gonna yeah. look. It's gonna After like represent. Scene. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I think I think they've done such a good job with everybody on the show. Um. And yeah, what I thought was really absolutely. cool is you had John Walker running. And then when they first pan into yeah. him, everything was out of focus and blurry. And my daughter was like, dad, is there something wrong with the projector? I'm like, no, I'm like, it, it represents his emotional state. He's out of, he's totally out of focus. Yeah. And he's like starting to realize what he did. And so deep down, he, he knows he yeah. messed up. Right? And they he introduced him, wrong. man. You know, he's yeah. so, I'm so intrigued to know more. I mean, I just mm -hmm. thought he was well, epic. He, he so he has potential to work for Ross too as U.S. agent, or they're setting him up to work for Hydra, um, which which could be really cool too. So there there's a lot of cool ways this could go. But I'm I would love to see a proper Thunderbolt series or or movie in the MCU. I think that'd be really yeah. But that's why I mentioned about the shield uh, Josh showed at the beginning of the video, and I was like, oh no, that shield to me that's like Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber now. You know, it's you know it killed Tusken Raiders, it killed children, it killed. Uh, it, it has a curse on that shield now and, uh, it, it keeps getting handed down and I could see that becoming like Anakin's lightsaber for the MCU, which would be pretty cool. Oh no, we lost him. Oh, we lost Josh. Yeah. He'll come he's back. Maybe, I'm out of here. He, maybe he didn't see today's show. He's, he's like, he's like I didn't see it guys. I hate you all. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> but it was epic, man. I loved it. To me, it was on the level of like Spider-Man into the universe, how they did Miles Morales. They really made it justice to where, you know, a lot of people mm-hmm. didn't want to see a black Captain America. They just weren't ready for it. And yeah. they mm-hmm. set it up to where, you know, they you're like, man, I'm ready today for a black Captain America, man. Yeah. And it's it was so awesome. And, and well, I'm, I'm oh, go ahead. No, no, you're good, man. Go for it. Uh, I was just saying, I'm super excited to see what they did with his uh, with his wings because I'm pretty sure they're going to be made yeah, out of what yeah. the, the different the metal or whatever that the shields made out of or whatever, and well, they're going to be indestructible. Yeah. And are they going to be yes. red, white, Vibranium. blue, or are they going to stick with his red? Right. I don't know what we've, the... we've, we've seen them, haven't we? We've seen the toy, so. Have we? I'm, oh, I'm pretty yeah. excited. Have you not, like have you not seen? The, have you not seen? The, have, you not seen the, have you not seen the leaked toy? No, yeah, no, I didn't see the leak. I didn't, so don't. I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, earmuffs, earmuffs. I. Uh, yeah. um, One more. I, I'm excited because it's it's Wakandan tech, right? So Wakandan right. tech is futuristic, right? It's it's going to be Stark made of vibranium, level, yeah, but I I think the jetpack and Red Wing are all going to be redone, right, to Wakandan tech, and right. I think it's possible because it's Wakandan tech that maybe it could give him some enhanced strength. Like that they where he has maybe a mode where he can be enhanced because he's gonna have to fight John Walker. And well, that's yeah, maybe I mean? that give yeah. him some herb. Give him some herb. Maybe oh man. Some sleeves or something like oh, that that empower his yep. arms a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Be I, I think the suit is gonna look awesome because Wakanda Tech looks amazing in the MCU. So I, I cannot wait to see that next week. It looks <laughs> and and the case reminded me of, of Tony Stark's case in Iron Man 2. I remember right. when he fought Whiplash and he dipped his. So I'm wondering if he opens it up, he dips his hands in or something like that, and then it just all the way around. Who knows? Like that. I mean, or he steps yeah, into because, it or something. Because Black Panther's outfit, right? It just formed on him and it yeah. took the energy oh, or whatever. Did, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, something like well, that could be. If awesome. you think about it, Shuri probably designed it. Yeah. Which would be really, really cool to, to integrate that back in, man. That's awesome. I think it's really neat how they integrated Wakanda into the story. Um, and, and they did yeah, it. it they nice did touch. it in such a way that, like, it enhanced the story. It wasn't like jamming in another corner of the MCU into it. Right. Um, like I said, man, it, it was so cool. I went out and I had to buy IO this week. <laughs> I saw it on Amazon. Yeah, like, and it's making me think about buying it. Yeah, this. for real. Yeah, dude, it's a cool looking figure. We so and we already way, have uh, Josh Nakia. displayed that. That looks beautiful. His display. It of that. does. Yeah, it was awesome. Oh my god, it does. Yeah. yeah, man. Look, I mean, look at that. And then you can you could troop build with her because there's three different heads. Yeah, amazing. It was man. I, I'm I'm really digging. I, I think it it's arguably one of the best things Marvel has done is Falcon Absolutely. and the Winter Soldier. Um, yeah, t- it, I'm so impressed with it. And, and well, it was it was a show they start I was so excited slow, though, to see. Almost every episode mm-hmm. starts really slow, and then all of a sudden, just boom, it gets running. Yep. So what what are your guys' predictions for for the finale? Not predicting. The, who do you guys I'm think listening is to that? you. I'm not predicting. I'm not predicting. I, I learned. I learned my lesson. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm. Uh, I'm interested to see who. She, I'm interested to see what Sharon Carter is. Is she working for Ross? Is she working oh, yeah. for Shield? Yeah. Is she working for? Is she working for Sword? Is There's she working? Uh, is she the power broker? I mean, she could be going because because she hired uh, um, the truck or the truck, not the truck, the truck. So she, so this is what was interesting is the flag smashers went to Sharon Carter and to hire muscle. And then Sharon, Sharon Carter hired Batroc. So, so is Sharon Carter, the power broker? And then she just sent, I mean, there, there's so many layers there, but I, I was, I couldn't believe that she was working with, uh, the flag smashers. I thought that was, she's an agent and she's a hydro agent or something. She's got to be. So she does goody. go bad in the comics for a while. She's so not they, they could totally go down that arc. I mean, she's a very pretty lady. I mean, don't get me wrong. But she's playing both sides, isn't she? Yep. So Josh Anderson says, definitely leading to Thunderbolts and Ross runs the raft. Yeah, I think so too. It, the Thunderbolts will probably be a series. Um, I think that I think it would play out better than a movie. But uh, show, yeah, show me the Thunderbolts, man. Ooh, Taskmaster will be brought to the team in Black Widow. Yeah, that would be cool. I want Hulk to go Immortal Hulk in the MCU. What do you think of that, Vern? Um, I'm not going to make it. Vern's going to lose his mind. I'm just going to let him do what they're doing. And like, I haven't even rewatched any of the episodes. Nothing like that because I just 
Mm-hmm. I'm going to wait till the end. I want to see what happens. I'm not going to make any predictions. I'm not going to hope for anything. I'm going to not hope for yep. anything just so I can just sit back and enjoy it. That's what I'm trying to do. Right? Try not to be too yep. speculative. I, yeah. Well, I, I think, yeah. I, it, I mean, I was so guilty with WandaVision to going down the rabbit hole and, and all that. And uh, But uh, I, I think watching the show, not thinking that way and just enjoying whatever comes of it, it has actually made it more enjoyable for sure. Yeah. Um, uh, but I, I think the Sharon Carter is the most interesting thing to see where where everything goes. Um, Josh says Agent Shields is officially a different timeline. Yeah, it is. But um, yeah, so I wonder oh. if they could bring Paulson back then. Oh, did you guys hear about yeah, that uh, Spider-Man Jeez. three leak, or did you not want to talk about that at all? No, don't it? don't don't ruin it. Don't don't ruin it. No, okay. please. I'm trying. <laughs> it, yeah, it's like headline on Twitter, so you got to be really careful. If you don't want to oh, see okay. it. That's good to know. Uh, Sleeping Clock Duel says it bums me out. I love Agents of Shield. I, I did too, man. I, I loved Agents of Shield. And then uh, uh, Migna, Migna Wen is the Calvary, who's also Fennec Shan. She was awesome on that show too. Yeah, uh, Josh really says cool Zemo popped up in Black Panther too. Yeah, she is. Well, she's also Mulan, and then she's Chun Li from uh, the first Street Fighter movie. So she's so had, she's had an about, amazing uh, career. Yeah. What are your thoughts about Black Panther 2? Who do you think is going to take the lead? Is it going to be Shuri? It will be the new uh, Black yeah, Panther? Or... In the comics, she does one. take over as Black Panther. Like In, in the comics, uh, T'Challa doesn't die, but he steps down. And, uh, and then she does take over as the new Black Panther. Or, or here's the thing is we don't know for sure that... Um, uh, what's his name? Who, who did he fight in the first movie? I'm totally blanking now. Um, Killmonger. Yeah, we, spots, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, no, that's Mbaku. So Mbaku okay. could conceivably take over, or maybe Killmonger really isn't dead, and and T'Challa like let him sat there, but then saved him at the end, <coughs> and then he he maybe takes over as like reformed and becomes Black Panther. Um, just mm-hmm. to like he, he's like a darker black version of the Black Panther. Um, but um, he's reformed because he learned he learned from T'Challa and all that so i who knows what they're gonna do that's such a tough spot to be in like how, how do you replace it yeah is well, josh trying to get into the stream too oh oh i see him yep got him hey hey Our sorry about that back. welcome back Ooh, monkey Look. jesus thinks the suit is vibranium with anti-gravity now that would be cool yeah because kind of like uh like their uh, ships when they uh i forget the name of that ship dude that's a really cool thought uh oh. Kicked him out. Hello. Uh-oh. Mute. Yep. And then Josh Anderson also points out it's... that he gets his old wings uh, to Taurus, who does become the new Falcon. So that's what happens in right. the comics as well. So that'll be really uh, cool. He, what was that? He I wonder if they'll wings. do that at the end of the series or not. Well, he yeah, just I think won't that need they're going to. I think they're going to make him the Black good. Falcon this time. He should be called American Eagle. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Yeah, I don't have high hopes for Loki either, but I didn't for Falcon and the Winter Soldier. You know, I think it's going to be like that, a, a, just a massive <laughs> super hit. Supposedly, it was the number one watched Disney show season, like uh, pilot or whatever, uh, ever. So it beat Mandalorian for like the first ever, uh, they say, Yeah, I saw that. Well, I'm I'm excited about Loki. I love Loki. I'm I'm excited about Loki. So we'll we'll see where that goes. <laughs> Mr. Josh is joking there, and he. <laughs> I hope so. So let's see. We got drawing uh, the dude in. So G Force asks, uh, "What's with all the art Sharon Carter has?" Um, I don't know, man. There, I'm sure there's some amazing symbolism in it that we're all missing that that will someone will point out on YouTube. And then uh, as he sleeps, says he wants the power broker to be Claw. That'd be cool if, if Claw was involved. That actually would make sense to have it be Claw. Uh, Carter's definitely working for the power broker, but I don't think she is him. I think they are setting up the Flag Smashers and Sam. So that's Josh Anderson. She could be playing all sides against each other. She's a scroll. She's a scroll. So what do yeah, you guys I think? think sure. if, uh... they... What do you think if remember when Killmonger at the end of Black Panther says bury me at sea with the rest of my brothers who jump from the slave ships? Mm-hmm. 
they've also made reference that perhaps Atlantis is somewhere off the coast of Wakanda. The sub- submariner. Yeah. So what if you went and they picked up Killmonger's body and they were able to somehow bring him back to life and then you can have Michael B. Jordan, who is arguably one of the better MCU villains back in the fold and yeah. you could have Killmonger that stereo awesome. that you were referring to as far as a new Black Panther that way. Yep. Chow, and he, he could be, I think it'd be, um, you know, like like a, a reformed version of Killmonger. So he's still not quite right, but he he learned from T'Challa and tries to follow his example. So it'd actually be cool to see him struggle with that on how to on how to balance that. It, it's just such a tough thing to do. I, I'll, I'm I don't envy the people having to make those decisions because Chadwick Boseman was fantastic as Black Panther and seemed like a nice human being. You know what I mean? That that that's a really tough spot to be in. Yeah. So the first thing when they said that the the package was Wakandan tech. I was like, Oh my God, are they going to make him black Panther? And then I was like, nah, that black Panther means too much to the Wakandan people. So they wouldn't just yeah. hand over the the helm of the black Panther to, you know, a U.S. a United States citizen, as opposed to somebody from Wakanda proper. But uh, I definitely think that the fact that that kid alluded, like he called him black Falcon. I think that they're mm-hmm. going to, in like the new costume, they're going to dub him black black falcon and it's going to be deliberately tying back into the whole isaiah bradley thing where you know no self-serving black man would ever be right captain america right and then does he give the shield to buck bucky i think so yeah because of the symbolism yeah yeah that's interesting man now you guys are dragging me in you know what's good (laughs) is it is it 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 made all of us think, right? Made all of us. I, I think sometimes it's good to see different things that maybe we don't experience. And and so I, I think the show has helped all of us to, to see a different perspective. Yeah. I, I really do appreciate it. And, and they did it in a way that entertained you and yeah. sucked you into the yeah. show and the character arc. So what it didn't feel like it was, didn't feel like it was anything but uh, excellent storytelling. But like watching Absolutely. that um, the other night and I watched it with both my daughters and afterwards they were like, it was it was cool to to see them processing it too and yeah so i'm, I'm yeah i got to I'm watch in with awe my uh, of what 12 year old at six in the morning and i you know she didn't say nothing but i'm just glad she did see that because watching that little boy you know you know what scene i'm talking about it was just yeah. you're like holy smokes man uh they are right and it just makes you open your eyes dude it's crazy yeah man uh, Josh says he thinks U.S. agent will pop up at the end, and there's a chance he might help them in the end. Yeah, do that because U.S. agent does redeem himself ultimately, um, and when he becomes U.S. agent. So we'll. Uh, I, I, so it's interesting is I don't know if they'll do all that in one episode. So that might come later in the MCU, but I, I do agree. I think that'll happen at some point. Monkey Jeebus says uh, he has the more um, takes out T'Challa, and then Kill Ma- Killmonger uh, takes up the title and then seeks revenge. That would actually be that would be cool. Um, that would actually be really cool to see Wakanda versus uh, Atlantis. So it seems very much with like you guys were talking about, like they've mentioned the raft a few times. We've been to the raft, and and mm-hmm. what was it? They they caught him in Civil War. Is that when they were in there? When they had most of Cap's team yeah. locked up. Yeah. So we've we've seen the raft, and we know from the comics that the raft was pivotal as far as the setting up of the new Avengers. So I think that you're going to start to see like the seeds planted for that and what i'm most excited about like this new phase of marvel movies more like jumping off with the 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 disney plus shows is we we dismantled the avengers for all intents and purposes with endgame and now we're setting it up to where we have a potential thunderbolts team we have a potential new Mm -hmm. avengers team whatever that ends up looking like and we've also got everything that's going on with the multiverse of madness and Wanda. So you can bring in like the X-Men. Obviously they're, they've announced a fantastic four movie. So all of these, what seemed like there's not much as far as the Avengers are concerned. Now it's like, we're building up all the rest of the MCU Mm -hmm. and we're bringing everything else that we didn't have as far as the Avengers are concerned. And I think you're going to see like a big battle for like, it's going to be more like, little factions of the different superhero teams all vying for the the power play in the MCU, which I think is just didn't even see it coming, but they're filling the vacuum mm-hmm. with so many different potential storylines. It's, it's amazing to me. 
Well, and they're building to Young Avengers too. It is amazing. Yep. Yeah, Kevin Feige, it's like, starting to say what you like want about him, book. give him all the money. Yeah. Yeah, he's, dude, yeah, he, you it, know, it, so it many, shows oh, how, so many stories how planning. And that's what it's starting to yeah. remind me of. And, and that's the key if you want to build a cinematic universe is you have to plan it out. It doesn't mean you don't deviate or change over time, but it, you can you could just see. How, they say he it's all like kind of like the overarching theme and, and everything that had the beats that happen are planned out a decade in advance. And, and it just shows. Yeah. <clears throat> and you know, just think he's getting his hands on Star Wars, man. He he basically begged for it. You know. And I think they will let him have some control. I'm really laggy. I don't know what's going on. If I were Feige, I would just tell him, give me all that Disney stock. Just keep it coming. I'll take that instead of you paying me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Did, did anybody see the uh, the fat man with Kevin Smith and Mark Bernardin talking to Ed Brubaker? Mm -mm. And how basically Ed Brubaker is is he's pretty bitter about the fact that he doesn't get any kickbacks from anything as far as Winter Soldier is concerned. So he essentially created that particular version of Bucky, and he he got a credit in the movie, and he gets more. Wow. Well, he was in Civil War, and he gets more money from the residuals in Civil War than he does for the fact that he created that character. Which well, there's, is a mass, there's, a massive, there's a massive court case going on in America at the moment um, um, about that, about writers. Um, so the writers of The Predator are suing Disney because Disney now own the rights to The Predator. And they're claiming um, oh, compensation yeah. for uh, the fact that they've never received, um, you know, royalties for distribution rights to the Predator. And so I was, <laughs> I was, I was reading an article the other day saying that this is the biggest potential court case um, for multimedia for a long time because it could open the flood floodgates for writers finally getting their fair share of recompense um, from the big mm -hmm. studios. So I, I, I guess. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, that goes all the way back to Stan Lee. He only got $100,000 or something for the very first Spider-Man movie, and yeah. things changed after that. And, and aren't they trying to claim, like, Star Wars has still never made a profit because it's continuing to be out there, so they still consider it a running budget, like, for every time they do advertising and stuff like that? Something like that. I had read that a few years ago. That's how they they get get around like um, paying big money out. It's a shame. Mm. I just think it's unfortunate that that these people who have created all these works that we love, like give them their flowers for God's sakes. I mean, come on, yeah. yep. You know, we're spending how much? You guys saw my my cave. I I would love for a lot of that money that I've spent to go into the people who actually had a hand in creating it, as opposed to exactly. to Disney. And you can say what you want about Disney. Like I'm not trying to sit here and get on a soapbox about them, but uh, I mean, there's they've got enough money. They can make they can pay off a, a, an Ed Brubaker for the amount of viewers that they've gotten out of yeah. to, be, in the winter to, to be honest, Josh, they should be rehiring those guys yes. to, to write because some of the writing in Hollywood over the last few years has been shocking. Yeah. So well, they're hiring it's, the wrong people. Yeah, exactly. So you need to get some of these old, <laughs> some of these old guys back, man, because you know, they're the yeah. truth, you know? So 100%. Yeah. Couldn't well, agree. More. John Favreau, you know, is, what they should be hiring and Kevin Feige or Feige. I'm not even sure how to say it. Kevin Feige. I think it's Feige. Yeah. Feige. Kevin Feige, he's, he's awesome. But one thing I will say to, to their credit, when, when people like Chris Evans wanted to come out and, and get on political soapboxes, they didn't make them walk that back. So I'd, I'd like to think that they're at least allowing their talent to think for themselves, you know, as opposed mm -hmm. to simply trying to push a company narrative. Yeah, I don't want to see actors be political. I want to see them act. I don't care. Mm. I don't want to hear Leonardo DiCaprio talk about the environment. I'd rather just see him act, because then you because then you're politicizing entertainment, and I just want to. I want entertainment to be entertainment, not politics. And actually, Leonardo DiCaprio does not have a degree in environmental issues. But I do. I do He's want him right. to save that rainforest. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm not against the rainforest being saved. I just don't want Leonardo DiCaprio doing it. I'd rather have David Attenborough doing it. He knows what he's talking about. Yeah, and then all everybody right. compares it to George Lucas bringing politics in all his films. Uh, and it's not, it isn't quite the same, really. Uh, but they used to say when Revenge of the Sith and all that and The Phantom Menace was out that it was like a, a push against Bush, you know, saying how uh, bad Bush yeah. is. I remember all those times. Uh, Hollywood does it. They, they so, do it all the time. I mean, ro- look writing. at Charlie Wilson's war. Yeah, writing, all right, all right. Ro- writing and actors are different. So a writer telling a story that's got a, a philosophy or a set of morals or values yeah. right on. But, but an actor... Giving their moderator, political views. Moderator. Well, ultimately, it should stay out of the stories. You know, I don't. I don't, I think they should have freedom of speech, just like everybody else should. But it, it should stay out of the stories. Stories should be stories, not because uh, they're used to escape. You know, and that's the the way it should stay. So I was thinking about this figure while you guys are talking about the environment. Thank you. Thank and, you, Vern. Um, <laughs> that was so, one of our policies, huh? Did you guys ever lighthearted, see um, lighthearted? Did you ever see Excalibur? Mm-hmm. So you know when yes. uh, Lancelot shows up in the end and he's all got his long hair and his beard. He's half wearing armor. That kind of does, yeah. Yeah, right. Like that's what. When I keep looking at him with the beard in this armor, I keep thinking like maybe I should throw him on a Mandalorian armor and uh, call him my my Lancelot figure. Right, like he's some old time. He would look uh, cool in Mando armor, right? Mando that comes back he, after he, all these he, years. He would look cool on most figures, though. The, the dudes yeah, have look cool on pretty can. much everything. Can you peel <laughs> off his? Can you peel off his head? And will he have a or his hair? And will he have a bald head underneath that? It might not um, be too bad for a uh, an old school, like Star Wars Rebels version of a Rex. Uh, yeah, you know what? It actually looks like it might be glued on there um it looks like there might be like shorter hair underneath actually ah, uh, i wonder yeah. you're the man for that job Vern. interesting well, let the world okay. head next for one i bet that these are, a lot of views man have you ever wondered what's under the head of the hair <laughs> <laughs> these are the uh prophet destro uh glasses because i actually left the other head on that um prophet destro but uh, this one didn't come with the glasses, so I threw on the purple Prophet Destro glasses. We need to get a salacious head cool. on there. We need to yeah. get a salacious head on there. Yeah. That would Guys, I wanted cool. to... Uh, we're, uh, we're almost at two hours, 40 minutes, so I, uh, I, I thought I'd ask a, a wrap-it-up question here. Um, <clears throat> so what are your upcoming YouTube videos this week that uh, everyone can look forward to? I'll go real quick. I got uh, I got this one in. I got a size Ventress, so uh, she just That'll showed up today. So video. I'm gonna I'll be doing that tomorrow. With special got, guest I got Pluto. Like, film. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do a comparison video, and it's gonna be a surprise who I compare it to. So I had okay. a cool idea. I thought I thought uh, uh, actually, uh, I'll show you. I think this will. It's not really gonna be a fair fight, but uh, we're gonna compare her to Dark Ray. You know what? That's good because in my video, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, she has the same problem as Dark Ray, which sucks, man. She just can't yeah, so like I, I, I be in a kneeling be a full pose. Yeah, beautiful. Well, especially figure, Ventress, though. her fighting style is so cool. Like how yeah. it, in the Clone Wars and stuff. Like how like uh, so. Uh, but I mean, look at that face. Super stoked. All right, what Absolutely. about you guys? Any other videos? I, I went. Uh, I went short crazy. Um, so I, I've, I've filmed about 25 shorts. I released five today. Did you see my um, my alarm clock uh, shorts? No. Today? Love Not the yet. Mark Rebelet. You guys, can you? Can I ask you all, can you go and add I everyone in the, the chat? I saw the mode. Yeah. Oh, the yeah, mode. Can you check out my um, get out of bed uh, short today, please? You might have a giggle. I will do that, yeah. Um, oh, t- there's a lot of uh, four hours fighting a grill with me, so... Tomorrow, so uh, there's the volume fi- down. There's a bit of swearing in it, um, so don't have your little kids around. And the same, there's a uh, um, Pilly mimes uh, two on two from Azelia Banks, which is released tomorrow. That's got naughty words in it, but it's fur. It's funny, so you might appreciate that. But I've got What's a ton up, of shorts. 
Look Sorry, Steve will pop in. I want to say hi. It's actually uh, Saturday. He's a, he's a day behind. Yeah. Yeah, today's me for yeah, videos. Uh, <laughs> today I filmed my vintage <laughs> collection Boba Fett video, the new version, but it's like 30 minutes worth of footage of me like totally out of my mind, not knowing what I was doing. But I'm sure I'll find a video in there. It's six minutes out of 30 minutes. And that's the worst when you got to edit that because you're like, ah, but you end up picking, you know, some really good clips and mm -hmm. managing to make a, a video that is watchable. So that might be fun for us to discuss sometime, like just how we all approach planning, shooting, editing, because I'm, I'm sure it's different. And I, I'm yeah. sure we can each pick up a couple things from each other because, um, yeah. Um, I'm more like I write a lot of it out and almost uh, I can't draw, but I, I do, I do try to plan out my shots and stuff. And uh, I found doing that makes like my editing much quicker. Cause then I've, I've, I've got a lot less to, cause I used to do more open. I'd have 20 minutes of video and then shrink it. Whereas now I, I try to uh, plan it out a little bit more, but for me, yeah. uh, I get so my mouth and my brain don't work. Once I start videotaping, I'll say That's what I want to say. Yeah. Right? And then I hit play and I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's amazing. Like I, can't, I can't talk all of a sudden. <laughs> happens all the time. You, know, that might actually be a funny video. Is just saving all those outtakes of just me to sound like a. Not that I don't typically sound like a total moron, but a total and complete moron, and just like all my gibberish and <laughs> where my mouth and brain yeah. don't work together. I do that a lot. And sometimes the worst part is when I've edited everything and have thirty minutes of footage, and I don't have a piece where I corrected myself, and it's like, well, crap. And then you got to like take that whole part out of the video completely because I couldn't say one word right and totally sucks. But oh well, it is what it is. I've planned out like sections of video and then went to edit it. I'm like, oh my god, this this was terrible. Like, why why would you yeah. do this? <laughs> but for so for me, with like the the video, the planning and the editing are are the parts that are like very zenful that I enjoy. But the actual filming and talking is not not as much my favorite as yeah. as the other two parts. My problem is just doing it because once I get into it, I love it. Man. Mm -hmm. And it's one of my favorite things to do. And it reminds me of why I'm doing this. Uh, but it's just getting the motivation because like like you, I've got 30 figures on the ground I could be reviewing. Uh, but it's just getting that motivation to just get up and do it uh, is mm -hmm. my problem. I have a whole bunch of so Josh says that would be a good topic. Yeah. Uh, for in between Falcon and the Winter Soldier and, and Bad Batch. All right, man. Maybe uh, in a week oh, we can Bad do that. Batch. Oh, cool. I can't wait. Oh. Yeah, I'm. I'm excited. I'm excited to see where it goes. What were you trying to spit out, Vern? There. No, <laughs> I was saying I got a bunch of figures here too, but I'm trying to figure out how I relate them to like the last video I did for somehow some reason. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I, I, I'm like, well, it's got to be a theme, and I, and I guess I got to get that out of my head or something like that. So. Well, that's no, that's or, my problem with this Boba Fett video. It's taken yeah. me three weeks, but finally I pulled my slave one out, put it there, and just did it with what I had. And I was like, you know what? Nobody is really going to watch these anyway. So I just got to think that way and just film. Uh, <laughs> but you always want to try to do better. Uh, and it sucks, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. It does. Well, th that's why. So I, I put all that effort into the House of X Wave video. And, and honestly, like, I really loved making that video because I went back through the comic and I picked out scenes from the comic I enjoyed and then try to recreate them and, and give some background info to each character in the comic and stuff. And it's got like 60 views. Now, at the same oh. time, those videos have been out for over a month, right? Like, yeah. how many searchable yeah. House of X videos? I mean, there's hundreds of this. So, like, mm -hmm. that's part of the challenge of being, you know, a smaller, slow burn YouTube channel is when you get figures four yeah. to six weeks after everyone else, like you got no shot, right. Of, yeah. of having anything, but you know, at the same time, I think, I think maybe, maybe even a month ago, like I, I'd put a video and if it didn't get what I felt was, you know, a reasonable amount of views, I almost, I feel bad and kind of like, ah, should I do this? But that house of X video was, metaphorically giving birth because I enjoyed the process so much. Like I really yeah. enjoyed, uh, I enjoyed writing it out. I actually enjoyed filming it and the pictures and how I did it. And then I had a blast at it. It ended up being 14 minute video just because it, you know, it's seven or eight figures, including the build a figure. Um, but I, it, I, I didn't even, it's a bummer that it wasn't watched more, but at the same time, the, the process was, was so zenful and enjoyable. That's what I got out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's an extension of the hobby. So I have a lot so of it, videos it's hard. Like 
Yeah, and it, it, it's hard because you want a little bit of, of validation in your work, right? And people to see it. But at the same time, like it's just the process and that part of the hobby was fun and, and that yeah. like I, I'm okay with where it's at because I just enjoyed making that video so much. And at the, at the flip side, I'll make a video that's like a, a tour of like part of my display and it gets like 500 views, which is great. So, yeah. um, but I, the, the Marvel ones are hard if you don't get that figure early because there, there's just so many Marvel videos. Well, it's just like that Just Jay Hernandez says, the same thing happens on Instagram. You'll take a picture of your hand with a figure and it'll get like over a thousand likes, but then he'll spend hours like doing a beautiful display and take a picture of an amazing pose and it'll get like, you know, a hundred likes. And he says, uh, right. it's so silly what goes viral and what doesn't. Uh, some of these videos that get viral, nobody, you know, my, my phone's going, but puts, you know, quality out there. Like, for example, my first Mandalorian vintage collection, I literally just open it out, take it out and show it. And I think I filmed it 10 minutes before I went to work even and my hands were shaking. Uh, but, yeah, there's some uh, it's weird, man. It is weird. So can I ask, why did you guys get into like the YouTube game to begin with? Was it a situation in which like. No, I mean, <laughs> there's something to be said about that. Now, <laughs> I'm not asking it from a standpoint of like you know, trying to, to pose it as a negative. I've podcasted it before, and my thing with my podcast, oh. I think there's only 10 people who listen to it. So, mm -hmm. at what point did you guys start putting out content just for yourselves, and then it, did it switch to you're chasing the views and you're chasing the likes? Okay, so I don't think I, I chase views or likes. I think okay. I got lucky with some shorts, like uh, back in like October, November, and they just kind of like took a life of their own, those short videos. So I got a lot of subscribers, but I don't typically get a lot of like the heavy views on my like reviews and stuff like that. I get like, you know, 100 or whatever, and people stick around for, you know, maybe about half of the review. And I think a lot of that is maybe the stop motion that I put in there yes. or sometimes mm -hmm. those ones are a little bit better. Um, really, I, I like do it for fun. And I think, so, but going back, like my first videos, I think I was putting up were, um, well, I don't have any of them handy, but I, but I would make like, I made like the Jedi Luke because they didn't make one. So I, mm -hmm. um, made my own custom. And I think I made a video about that, or we came back from comic con and I wanted to just show it off or something like that. And it was really just like, um, I don't know, just passing time. Like I wanted to take it out. I wanted to do something tangible with it. And I didn't just want to be like sitting Crazy. in my room, like messing with it. So I filmed it and I put it on this YouTube channel that I've had for a long time. Right. But originally it was, I had these stop motion videos on there. If you go back, you'll see my original three GI Joe stop motion videos that we did. And, and um, you know, and then when I, I thought, oh, okay, yeah, I guess a few people were leaving comments and they liked watching them. So I was like, well, I'll just keep, keep doing them. And uh, that's where it is. So right now I'm just doing it because one, it's fun Two, I love doing the short videos because I get to do crazy stuff, like throw the whole cat on this figure. I get to, uh, I don't know if you saw the last one where I was, I've been messing around with doing some stop motion again. Mm -hmm. yep. And I had the, uh, the Hulk get his hands cut off by Vader or whatever. Yeah, that was some of that, some of that's fun trying to like figure out the techniques and trying to figure out the smoothness. So it's all just to me about like trying to make it a little bit better and a little bit more fluid for those. And, um, I don't know. And then like when I buy a figure, I feel like, well, I got to justify my, purchase here so i'll make a video right like that gotcha and um that's really me but to me it's a lot of fun i love doing it because mm -hmm. i mean i've watched all you guys' stuff and i i i look at you guys more as you know you have done so much work during the pandemic of making i can't go outside i can't go and and be with people so i get to be with you guys and it's it, it's exactly for me, throughout the entire course of the pandemic, like I started working on my basement and I put out, hey, I'm looking for, for content to have on in the background while I'm working on the basement. And I think Dude had reached out and I think Salacious had reached out and like, hey, give, give my show a chance. And that's how I got into you guys and, and found Shabby, found Sean. 
Uh, there's just such a big community that you guys have built. And I think that what you do for people goes far beyond the number of views that you guys get and far beyond the number of likes that you get. So uh, mm -hmm. if, if you guys are ever to the point where you don't feel that what you're doing is beneficial, uh, let me just speak for myself. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who feel the same way that you guys are like part of my family and you guys have, have been there for me when... <laughs> I needed friends in my life that, that I couldn't go out and see people. So from the bottom of my heart, I, I thank you guys for what you do. And I know that creative, uh, creative elements can sometimes be frustrating, but uh, you guys have done wonders for me for the past year. So I thank you for that. Oh, oh dude, that's nice. That's that's nice. Thanks, for, nice th thanks for doing that poster awesome. for us as well. That poster was oh, so nice. Yeah, man. I couldn't that believe awesome. that. Cool. When the dude showed that, it was like so nice that someone had done that for us. No one had ever done anything like that for us before, so thank you. Well, that's what I say. I, thank it's, you, uh, it's an incredible artist by the name of Jason Wolf. If anybody ever needs anything, oh, please, please reach share out it, to him. Please share his link so we can... Uh, I'd, like to, so. I'd like to see what his other stuff. It's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and, Thank you. And Josh, you hit you hit it on the head, like it because I mine started. Uh, I think it'll be a year in May, May when I when I decided to start mine, and it was just being on Twitter and starting to make like action figure collecting connections. That and and what I realized was I was collecting, but I was alone. Right, it, it's a hobby of one, and I would all my stuff was almost all, like ninety percent was in box, and it was in my office closet. And it was all hidden and locked away. And I would go every now and then and be like, my precious, and look at it and put them away. <laughs> but you're you're very much alone in that. Like you're not sharing that with anybody. And there's just times where it's like, man, it'd be cool. Just just like like tonight, I just, man, I got a Saj. Like I'm so happy. And all these comments like, Saj is awesome. I love, you know, you guys are excited. You have the figure. So really it just made me think like it, it was a way to extend collecting as a hobby to to me just show something that brought me joy and then talk about it and and why it, why I like it what's interesting about it and then share it with other people and then I'm watching their videos so it's the same it's it's just it's like you play with your toy as a kid in a certain way and I think creating videos and taking pictures is just another way to play with your toys as an adult but now yeah. I'm not lonely doing it I'm not alone I've got you know all all you know four of you. There's five of us on the stream now, like talking together, and it's because of that. Like if I didn't do that, I wouldn't have these friendships, and it wouldn't have extended um, the way I collect. So you know there there are points where like like I was saying, you do a video and you are down because you're like, man, I I really tried on this one. I thought it was good, and 50 people watched it, right? And but then you do another video and then it gets 500 views, and then you know so it's like. Like if I, if we're just looking for validation in that, then we're always going to be disappointed, right? It's, and it's not the right motivation. So I think always bring it back to it's just it's an extension of the hobby. It's an it's an enhanced way to enjoy collecting. And the best part is you're doing it in a community where everybody's supportive and excited to see it, and then you're supporting them as well, which is awesome. Well, well, I'll, which, I'll, which also I'll, brings up if you guys, I, I wanted to say, I, I I had this can. So if you look at the bottom of the screen, it says peer pressure. So I, I feel like, Josh, like you should maybe consider uh, joining uh, this, this YouTube uh, fiesta we have. And, you know, you could make some really cool videos just about the Cap Cave and yeah. how you create, like, just your creation of the Cap Cave. And then you could do yeah, sections really of it good. and a full tour. I mean, you could just start out like that because it, exactly what you just said, like you're saying like something that we did, our, our joy of like this figure, like, right. I'm talking about it brought you joy and, it, and it's like, you're hanging out with your friends. How cool would that be for people to see what you built? And none of that, but learn how you did it. Like, like how you put it all together, where it came from. You, you oh, yeah. would bring so much joy to our collector community. So I'm, I'm peer pressuring you. I, I think, I think <laughs> that the cap cave, the cap cave is a YouTube channel waiting to happen. Josh, no, no, I'll, Josh, I'll, 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 I'll be honest, Josh. I'm in it for the chicks. It ain't really working out, though. To be honest, like, you know, no. it's, it's not. I, I, I'm not getting quite the audience I was expecting. That's because you're stuck at home, Salacious. Wait but, till you can get back out there. But hold on. But, I mean, there's always hope. But, always but what dude saying? <laughs> What dude's saying is right about your cap cave and then like even his displays and look at Sean's displays. They're all lit up and stuff like that. That didn't happen overnight. And I'm sure yeah. somebody influenced all those lights. Right. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, some of the feedback that I got, I mean, I don't get a whole lot of like comments and stuff, but I did, uh, 
those are my vintage Star Wars nice. figures above that TV. And those are those same back cases, right? Yeah. I still today get like feedback from that video where people are telling me, hey, I'm running down to Michael's to buy those things because that's like awesome, right? So that you're might have been the first people. video I've seen of yours. Yeah. 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 So, it, I mean, and that one, I don't know why. I was just sitting in Michael's. I was looking at the back case cases and I was like, I bet I could put my action figures in there and people liked it. So, people get that from you, you know, and that's kind of part of it too. It's, it's part of that community building where you're like sharing your idea and somebody else likes it. I mean, I see these like cases in the back behind dude and I'm like, I'm looking at my shelf and I'm like, I think I need to ditch this like 30 year old shelf for something really cool looking, right? Looking at your displays and I'm like, I need to really beef up my lighting system or something. But, um, you know, it's just it, a matter of pressure. getting there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, dude, you're the one that inspired me to rig the lighting up in mine. Because, like, seriously, your collection can be whatever you want it to be. And it, once you get it lit up, like, it's like, oh, yeah. my God. You know, it, yeah. you freak out and you're like, I got to do everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, dude, it, what's interesting, so you said that, but then, my, you know, because you can see my lighting, but my lighting's all up top. And then yeah. it does diffuse as you get lower. But, you know, the, I, the thing I do like about my lights is it has different colors and features and stuff. Yep. But yours made me think, like, I I, I want to go level to level lighting and do that. And then and I am going to get more detox because the collection's grown to that point where and then my goal is behind me. It's just a wall of deep kind of like how Josh is yeah. now. It's just like a wall of detox. And then I'm going to take the cards and just line like all the wall of the nerdery with like all the cards and have the six detox on the side and then and do that. But. But it's cool because I did something because I was inspired by a bunch of you guys. And then Josh was inspired by that. And I saw what Josh did. And he took what I did to another level. And I'm like, okay, now I want to go up to that. But but it's not in a bad way. It's in a good way. You know what I mean? It, it's like we're showing each other different ideas. And, and then we yeah. can replicate and do things differently. I mean, it's not just Absolutely. here either because you're watching other people's videos. Like, um, uh, you know, other channels and stuff. Like even Sleeping's channel. You got... Uh, all these guys watching this live stream right now, a lot of them have channels and like you get something from everybody. Mm -hmm. And that's the greatest mm -hmm. thing about doing this and being part of the community is like you actually see what other people are doing, what they have, what excites them. And I've gotten stuff, I've gotten into um, more, more Marvel Legends than I had before just from seeing other people's collection. Yeah. So, you know. The, the whole one hold off is those multiverse figures, but I'm almost there. <laughs> Don't almost. do it. Don't it's do a it. slippery slope, man. It just takes a couple. Like I, I bought three Transformers oh, this year, but God. they were all the the crossover figures, and yeah. and I just I said no more, no more, because it, it's such a slippery slope. <laughs> and if Sean keeps making videos, I might end up with uh, Masters of the Universe too. I mean, come on. Help me out! Stop making those videos. I know I've got so many around here. Listen, what uh, I wanted to find today more than anything was that gray skull. I'm kicking myself for not buying it when it was seventy bucks. On I it. want you could that pre-order it for Walmart. It, oh, I see that thing and it's oh, it's so gorgeous. Um, I'm still looking for that musical mutagen tour, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I really want that set, and only because I worked at Six Flags in the '90s when they were on tour and they were there, and I. I had to work security at the, at the, at the little theater or whatever. So I'm kind of like wanting that set, but I can't find it at a decent price. Right, it's got to be time. So it's got to be time to wrap up now, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Jake Paul. Hey guys, by Jake, the way, Jake Paul versus record. Jake Paul versus Ben Askren tonight. It's been one minute time. I'll see you guys on Twitter because I'm about right, to die. Yeah. I've got to go as well. Well, not die, but my phone. Good job, everybody. All right, thanks, Josh. Thanks, everyone. Hey, thank see you. Ya. Hey, first of all, thanks to everyone for watching. Three hour stream record for us. And uh, we'll see you guys next week, Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and what does that work out to? 4 p.m. Pacific. And then what's that uh, for you, Slash? Is that midnight? Midnight, 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 midnight on Friday. Okay. Thank you guys for hanging out with us for our, our first three hour thank stream. You guys. Later, thanks everybody. for everything you guys do out there in the creator community. Appreciate thanks, it. Josh. Yeah. Thank you, Josh. All right.